Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I almost said Monday because I didn't stream oh. Monday, but happy Monday. N now I screwed myself up. Happy Wednesday. How are we doing? RIP to the 3DS online. You think so? That that might be true, Will. That might be true, but we're going to have to find out. Watching. Oh, my God. You know what? I forgot. Hold on. Hold on. One second. One second. When, when are we supposed to take these off? Because, uh, can I look without them yet? Is it okay? I can't hear you, but I can see you. <laughs> yeah, did we catch the eclipse? It was, uh, pretty lame looking from my perspective, but, uh, hopefully you guys were in cooler places. I, uh, somebody told me that we aren't going to get an eclipse like that again for another 20 years. So, I saw it. Wasn't much for me, but I saw it. Fringe, Roy the Boy. I'm on mute. Huh? Oh, you're tricking the- that actually got me. Jerk. Jerk! What's up, Draco Lions? You actually concerned me. Why would you do that, Will? Hiya, papaya. You'll be old as time when the next one happens? Don't say that to me. Why would you say that to me? Anyway, tonight's stream is going to be about revisiting Couple of games here, couple old school 3DS Pokemon games. I wanted to find Black and White 2 that I own as well, because I actually kind of like those better than these, to be honest. But I don't really know where I put them at the moment. So we're gonna start with these. I think, let's take a peek at Omega Ruby. I don't even remember where I was in Omega Ruby when I stopped playing it. But I do know I didn't beat the game. So let's go take a look. Oh, you said you could see, but not hear. No, I said I couldn't see, but I could hear. I don't know, whatever. Software update? Why? Oh, you know what? Screw that. I don't care. Whatever patch it is, I don't care. Probably still at Watson. There's no way. Shut up, Roy. <laughs> As if I couldn't beat him. I couldn't beat him in the Nuzlocke. I can't beat him in the, the new game, too. Nice. Nice. As someone who's played this game too much, this might be too painful to watch. How so? How so? Also, welcome everybody. Does it always sounded like that? Ah, it's just me. Who up battling they Watson right now? All right, let's get into this. Sorry. Just trying to enjoy that for a moment. <clears throat> Three badges. Interesting. So, uh, oh yeah, you know what? I know. Oh my God. I even saved right in front of it. That's so funny. That's so funny. When did this game come out? When did this game come out? What year was this? 2014? This game is 10 years old? Yeah, well, first off, it is it is funny that I was barely past Watson, but it's also equally hilarious that I was here. You know why? Because this was something that actually pissed me off. In the originals, you could lay in the sand, you could jump into it, into the little pit here. 
This is an example of how they ruin modern games. They take out the fun flavor. Why? Why can't I go in there? <laughs> Isn't the fishing hole just so cool? <laughs> that actually upset me enough that I stopped playing here. That's so funny. I've mentioned that before, too, on stream. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Terry? You're a fool. I love the Hoenn remix. I, I think I'm always excited about the idea of the remakes, but then when I actually play them, they don't quite Attention. give me the right feeling as the original 76 gamers i bring you an urgent announcement i can't tell if stevie's a pokemon or pal world chill maybe he's just a You're chill making a mess derogatory You're done you are done because i do one pokemon stream and i've done two pal world streams one of which was not even labeled as a pal world stream but we played it for a second time i think that was your limit apparently yeah, apparently I saw that and I was like, you are done. Wait, what's what's my party even? Aw, I called him HM Bandit instead of HM Slave. That's funny. That's funny. That's right, they have the weird stuff with Pikachu in this, don't they? The weird costumes. All right, time secret power for the bases. Huh. You're the most basic team. <laughs> what, what are you upset about, huh? I mean, well, Swello is one of my favorite regional birds, so, like, that was happening for sure. Uh, I picked something different in going for um, Sceptile. That's, that's a little unusual, because obviously... Marshtomp, Mudkip, even Blaziken, those are good. Those are good picks. Uh, and then I guess I was going for a Manectric for the elect uh, th electric type support. Bait's looking a little strange. Oh my god, why is that on there? Oh, because I switched it. I'm sorry. I only fixed the layout in one thing. <laughs> Bait's looking a little strange today. Yeah, I adapted the layout. Sorry. Let's get rid of that. That's lovely that your whole top screen goes to nothingness when you go into your party. That's incredible. Great, great thought process there. Why wouldn't the top screen be your party? Anyway, um, okay. Is this one of the games where, that's the gym. Is this one of the games where they, uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I do I do have a gift waiting for me. You want to see what it is? So in all of these Pokemon games, they they did the free mystery gift downloads, right? Or codes sometimes at like Game Stops. And for a lot of them, I did actually get them when I could. The problem is when you go to pick them up, usually their natures are randomized. I forget there might be different quirks about each game in the series or whatnot, but typically um, the IVs and the nature are randomized. So instead of picking them up, I decided I don't even have space. Let's let's deposit some Pokemon. And I left it here for myself to grind in the future to try to get the right IVs on stuff on rare things. Now it's easier with the modern games, right? To um get better natures and IVs and deal with all of that. But uh back then, back now, not exactly the case. You know what? You're staying with me, bandit. Also, this is... I can't believe this is 10 years old. I can't believe it. Let's see what we got here. I just want to see... Because if I'm going to transfer anything up, it's probably going to be something nice, like uh, something rare. What do you have for me? A Beldum. Oh, that must be a shiny one. For the... Um, you think that's meta? Meta Metagross? Mega Mega Metagross? Let's find out. Yep. It's the shiny one and a Cherish Ball. That's cool. I'm... Well... Is that IV good? Is Metagross a special attacker? Probably. Yeah, with the Metagross sight. Sorry, I'm trying to recall 10-year-old events. You say last chance, but like it's not, is it? Well, I mean, if you don't do it 
in the next little while. Who knows when they're going to shut it down. I would hope that they would do a big announcement first, but like basically if you want to do stuff, you might as well do it now because uh, the clock is ticking. That was from 2014. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Superior. This is all going to be event stuff, but oh. Zoroark. What was this? I got a female. It's different. Uh, Leaf Storm, Superior. I don't. I don't know what the uh, the purpose was. Where do I see the nature? I feel like a boomer. Oh, it's timid. Is that good for superior? Is superior special attack? I don't even know. No, I feel like this is probably physical, right? Oh, well, Leaf Storm is special. Oh, it's the contrary superior, right? Uh, the hidden ability. Okay. Well, that was actually pretty lucky nature then. How about this Zoroark? Contrary Leaf Storm. Thanks, Loma. Uh, what was the purpose of this thing? Looks pretty normal to me. They don't even roar when you tap them. What the heck, Omega Ruby? Red is good, blue is bad. Thanks, thanks, Will. Yeah, I figured that out. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I'd imagine minus speed on a Zoro arc is probably not what you want. But actually, what's kind of funny is that these didn't turn out so bad, right? Oh, did I, I screwed up the attack, didn't I? But I noticed the speed was good. No, 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 because I said I said special for this one. I said special. Yeah, that's fine. Timid's, Timid's probably decent for that, right? That might not be the exact one that people go for, but... And what would you decrease on a Metagross? I don't know. Is that the opposite for the Beldum? Oh, you're right. I screwed up the Beldum. Then I figured it out there. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> but see, this is what I mean. Like, you'd have to turn off the game a million times. And what are even the IVs? They're, they're, I'd have to type them into a calculator and check it out. Let's see what else this lady has for me. Evil Tall. Manaphy. Ah, the shiny Evil Tall. Okay. Uh, a special attack being minus is definitely not what you want. OT Game Freak GF. Adamant natured Manaphy. That looks You're okay. making a mess. You're done. You are done. Chat backseating a little much. I mean, I appreciate it because I'm really rusty on my Pokemon stuff. All right. So it's fine. It's fine by me. This is interesting though. Let's, let's deposit all these to see if she has anything else for me. I don't know how many events I would have collected without picking up, but as you can see, it's a fair amount. And really, these are not serving any purpose here. Although, to be fair, I don't have uh, the most recent Pokemon games anyway, but... Let's not do that one. Metagross is a physical attacker. I just thought it was a... Uh, I assume because it was psychic, I guess. Gonna save those and not reset for them? Well, I will... That's the thing is, do I want this stream to be a reset stream while I pick these up 5,000 times? Uh, not really, but I just want to see what there is here. I may not save it. We'll see. Shaman. Darkrai. Stevie, in modern games, grinding is irrelevant unless you want hidden power because there are items to max IVs. 
Unless you want hidden power because there are items to... Yeah, that's right. And they have, like... They even added, like, super training and stuff, right? In, um... X, and I forget. That came back once again. I can't remember when that stopped, but... Basically, there are... It's definitely way easier now, for sure. Do people even still use hidden power, too? I feel like that's probably on its way out. Keldeo. Hoopa. Arceus. I have God in my pocket. Wow, we drew too many. Yep, there's definitely a lot in here that she's got for me. I could see how this might take me a hundred years if I actually did each one. Um, level 100 Shaman. Dex number, it doesn't even know because we don't have national decks yet. That's crazy. Okay. Dark Void or Nightmare Dark Ray. I don't know if any of those moves are actually special for it. Jolly Nature. Definitely not what you want there. Keldeo. I don't know if uh, which of these have um, anything special more than normal, but they took out in power in Gen Eight, except for unknown. Really? Check their ribbons. These are all just classic ri- Oh, hardy natured Arceus? Ew. 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 <laughs> no thanks. Hyperspace Hole! That's a funny name. For a move. I wouldn't worry about resetting to slap a bottle cap on them later. Really? Are those really that easy to acquire that I would do it like a hundred times for a hundred different Pokemon? What's up, Luxray Blast? Trying to gather rare candies and crystal before moving my team up. I have Celebi and Beat Red at 52 to 54. I got crystal on this 3DS as well, which would, might be fun to play at some point. I like crystal. Stevie, definitely hardy nature. But they, they actually took out Hidden Power? That's crazy to me. Wait, so then when you transfer the Pokemon up, what happens to the move? It just deletes it? Imagine all of that work getting, like, Hidden Power Ice on, like, a Fire type or something, you know, whatever combo people use. That's crazy, because that, like, that was the, one of the most annoying and hard things to do when, when breeding. I guess in a way it's good that it's gone, but damn, that's... Wow. You can get more ribbons on them? This can't be used. Oh. Shiny hunted for Celebi on a virtual console edition to trade up back in December. Did you get it? Move lost to time. That's crazy. That is really interesting. Um, I mean, if you're telling me that, maybe it's not a big deal, but what other ribbons would I want? I mean, is the point to collect as many ribbons as possible before I send it up just so that they're like really exotic? Is, is that the goal here? Which includes what? Like, forbidding the Elite Four? And like, contests and stuff? Also, look at, look at my Pokemon box now! <laughs> look at this box! Hold on. Yeah, you know, just just your basic stuff in here. Just your, just your basic, ordinary, everyday stuff. You know, like Arceus is in there. Call one of those on Route 102. Uh, box is crazy. Got a ribbon challenge. 3,000 resets. Congrats, Olivia. That's cool. Tried to evolve my Dragonair off red. My Dragonair did not evolve. What? Oh, off of red. Off the fighting red? I was going to say, what? 
Meloetta. I kind of hope there's a shiny Raikou in here. I had one in one of the games from an event. Genesect. Someone, someone described for me Ribbon Quest and how, how complex. Oh, that's it? She's out? Man, I was getting high off my loot boxes here. Normal Genesect, as far as I can tell. Serene Grace Meloetta. It's just collecting as many ribbons as possible. I know, but can somebody give me like a rundown? The Raikou simping must stop. But why though? What's up, Terry? I'm sorry that you did that, Terry, because uh, I got one that I clearly didn't care about enough right here. Uh, right there. Whoops. If I had actually played this game to completion, maybe that would have been fun. Guide for each game. Let's let's take a peek at this. Thank you, Will. I just assume that this is gonna be a pain in the butt in every way possible, right? There's no way this is like an easy thing to do. It's probably like max contest. Uh, like what's the um the thingy actually? Feed them max pokey blocks to max their beauty or something for one of them. Let's see what this entails. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Let's do this together. Choosing a Ribbon Master? Picking a Pokemon is one of the most important things about this challenge, as this will be your trophy Pokemon you'll be with for the duration of the challenge. I love that Raikou's up there. Can you see that? Yeah, you can't see that. Perfect. <laughs> if I was going to have one, that's probably the one I'd have. It's like my favorite Pokemon for some reason. Um... Of course, that's a ribbon's not obtainable. Certain Pokemon caught in Gen 3. Battle Tower. Winning Ribbon. I don't quite understand this, but okay. National. Only available for, sh for Shadow Pokemon from the GameCube games. Wow. Oh, this is actually from like classic original Gen 3. Yeah. This, this actually became a thing, like, this is crazy to me. I know, like, shiny hunting obviously blew up, like, a long time ago, and that is a big deal now, but ribbon collecting, never thought that would be a thing. Hoenn Remake. Hoenn Champ Ribbon for Pokemon League, got it. Contest Master Ribbon, Con that's exactly what I was saying, okay. Wait, that's it? That's it? You're about nine years behind. Don't you want your Pokemon to be beautiful? Took like 15 tries, Terry? Wow, that's not that bad. Wow. Congrats. Trending right now because of the bank eventually shutting down. Returning ribbons. Oh, can I actually get these though? Slayport Market when you show Pokemon with maxed EVs. Okay. Syndicate. Mauvel City when you spend 10,000, 100,000, or 9,999 Poke Dollars. Pop. On each? You, do you have to spend this on each Pokemon? Because that is insane. Daily ribbons from Mauvel Halls every day of the week. Oh, Hills. Mauvel Hills. Footprint Ribbon. Battle Resort when you show Pokemon it's gained 30 levels since it was caught or received. Missable if your Pokemon cannot gain 30 levels. <laughs> Guys, I can't get out on my level 100 Meloetta, no. 
Best friends, you can get this ribbon using Pokemon and me in the exact same way you get it in Kalos. I don't even remember which game Pokemon and me is from. Oh, that's X, isn't it? Yeah, got it. Training ribbon in Duford. When your lead Pokemon has a medal for every course in Super Training. Oh, Super Training is back in this game. Okay. So it was it was X and Y and Oraz that had Super Training, right? Okay. Interesting. Should we go? Should we? Should I go find the Mawil one? But I don't know if I'm keeping this with these. Out of sheer curiosity, where where is Mawil Hills? I, yeah, I really hate the fact that they removed the, uh, the game corners. So dumb. I deposited my flying Pokemon. Actually, I don't even know if I could fly yet. Terry, no worries. Thank you for tuning in. Syndicate Pal World reference! <laughs> right. What are they copying? Pal World now? Yeah, it definitely doesn't have fly. Okay, well, um. You can't fly for three more badges. Actually, if I recall, there's ledges over here I can jump down, right? Where does this go? That's back to Mauville, isn't it? Woo! Don't. Okay. I should have talked to him, but I didn't really want to deal with him. It's not available yet? No, it's too late. It's too late. I have gone. That's right. I don't have the goggles yet. What's up, Deep Freeze? Also... I'm going to be that guy. I have said it before. I'm going to say it again. I hate what they did to Mauville. Mauville was like the most quaint, nice looking city. You used to go back and forth hatching your eggs through Mauville. And now, wow, we actually got an encounter from that. Is that Geodude? Yeah. Listen, I remember some things about this. What's up, Blah? Am I serious about what? How much time do we have? They haven't announced an end date for this, They, but basically the way they described it was that they'll keep it going for a bit longer, basically. So if you want to transfer up Pokemon before you forget and six months goes by and it's long gone or something, I would hope they would make a huge big announcement that would spread everywhere about it, but who knows? So I would I would prep now, just just get it get it going. I like Oraz Mauville, why? They turned it into a weird shopping mall. Attention. No cap on God. More like Malville. <laughs> Isn't it just better now? Come on. Use your bike, you heathen. I did. I did forget about the bike. I, I did forget about the bike. Sorry. Does this still go to the little fishing spot? How demented have they made this? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> What, what even, where even am I? Isn't the fishing hole just so cool? <laughs> yeah, I want to find the fishing hole. What, what is even, what am I doing? You don't even care. It's like so obvious you don't even care. Get me out of this place. Wait, so I can't go over there? No, this is not, this is south. Yeah, this is not right. I don't know how to get over there. Just an old basic port town. Lucky the most unique thing was power plant by a town not even in it. That's true. It's true. I just, I don't know. I don't like this. Like this would have been fine if it was a brand new city or something, but the fact that they replaced the city in like the center of the continent, that was a nice city to bike ride through with the little quaint bike shop and stuff. It was just cute. It was cute the way that it was before. Oh, here we go. Where are you going? I don't know. I went to the right, took me up some stairs. This, okay, this is where 
This is where on the Nuzlocke, I may or may not have killed uh, a tentacle that we kind of needed to catch. Secret bases, though, were one of my favorite things about Gen 3. How ugly is that one? That's pretty ugly. That's not a good one. Secret base in Route 11. No. Let's... I'm early on in the game here, so there's no way that my secret base is actually good, but um, I am curious. We should go find it. Which route is 111? Like, Tentacle is going to help against Watson? Sometimes you just need a Pokemon to take a hit, so you get a free swap in, you know? Sometimes it's all about that. Crit, what was the last Pokemon Gen you tried? I... Last year, or the year before, I bought Pokemon Sword used off of fake Facebook Marketplace to try it out, because I was one of the Sword and Shield haters back in the day. I really got upset with the whole National Dex getting cut thing, and the graphics weren't all that impressive to me. Um, obviously, like, the whole tree scandal, I was kind of feeling that as well. Um... Don't bother me. Don't bother me. But I tried it, and yeah, it's pretty not good, to be honest. There, there were parts of it that I liked more than I thought that I would, but... I actually probably liked the new Pokemon more than anything, to be honest, but... The actual world... The actual region of Galar, or whatever it was, um... It's a little half-baked. But to be honest, this this game should have been right up my alley. I should have enjoyed it, but I don't know. I just it was missing something for me, and clearly I didn't stick around with it. But to be fair, 2014. Or should I say this on stream? 2014 is when I graduated from college, so I was pretty busy that year. You're making a mess. You're done. You are done. Hot take: X and Y are some of my favorite ones. Um, I liked X. I actually liked X probably more than most people did. I, that back then, the Gen 1 pandering was, like, not old and stale at that point, so I really liked how they gave you, like, a Gen 1 starter. Um, I don't know. I, I liked X and Y. Freedom! You didn't use DexNav, clearly. I know DexNav is a thing. I forget how to use it, and also, I don't want to use it right now. I did use it briefly. Oh, this is route 110. Wait a minute. This is 110? It said my thing was on 111, right? Is it to the left? That's... No, that goes back to the old town. How do I use this map? Mary Sue said, I stopped playing sometime around Sword and Shield. Makes sense to me. What What is this? Why are you doing this? Madison, TMs, HMs, key items. Do I really not have a map to any degree? It's just this thing down here. Oh, I guess so. Which one's 111? Listen, I... Oh, it's on that one? Is that where I was? Why would I put it there? Oh, you know what? I think there were spots I liked on that route. Classically speaking. Um... Am I really going through this again, I guess? I didn't register my bike. To select. That seems like a mistake. Oh, uh, actually, it looks like it's right. It is... Selected. I don't know how to use it anymore. <laughs> this is making me feel like a boomer. Watch me find a shiny live. And then I have to save my file. Isn't the fishing hole just so cool? 
You ended college in 2014. I started high school in the same year. Interesting. I'll never be able to try a Pokemon X fire type challenge now. It's pokey over. What do you mean ignore me? Why? Do they have like no fire types in X and Y? There's like Pyroar and stuff and you can get um, Charmander, right? Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, you just reset now. I want to find my secret base. Then we can reset and maybe even pop in X or Sun and see what was happening in those games. Notice me, please. You've been noticed. Is this Ruby or Sapphire? This is Ruby. Where's my secret base? This is 111. That's where it said it was, right? Pal world time. <laughs> hey, Veronica. Crit. Sorry, I missed this. What is it? How do you feel about MatPat's retirement as host of the four theory channels? Uh, it's a little sad, but it makes sense. I mean, he's got a kid now. And to be honest, like, he kind of made his bread off of Five Nights at Freddy's, right? And that lore is not getting any easier to solve, and it's also not ending anytime soon. So I could understand if he's exhausted, personally. And honestly, I I hate to say it, I like Matt Pat, but I think he kind of led people down the wrong way. Listen, I, I'm not much of a Five Nights at Freddy's player, but I've unfortunately watched my fair share of nine-hour lore videos on YouTube, and... Uh, I think, I think he kind of led people astray a lot, like a lot, a lot. I can't even go up there because we can't go in the, in the desert. I need to go above the desert. Aha. Take me to Soot Mountain. What's up, coffee? Saucy, 20 stream streak. Let me tell you about the trip. Thanks, Saucy. Credit card charged up, hold my mom, don't flip. You have to beat the flame, mommy? I mean, we could do that if people want to see that, but that wasn't the purpose of this stream. Never played FNAF, but I know all the lore. I have played it. I haven't played every game, though. I played one on stream. I never thought I would appreciate it, to be honest. It always seemed like a kiddie thing, but I actually do kind of like the way that uh, the creator made the story. And uh, what happens to the serial killer, I really like, too. But that was a really sweet concept. This is Mount Chimney. I want to go... Probably not up it. Probably this way. Uh... Is this where I want to be? Okay. <laughs> Why do I not remember this at all? What, what is this? I don't know where I am or what's happening right now. Was Jagged Pass in the original? Is this Lava Ridge? Oh, okay. I do not remember that at all. Okay. Crazy. Unfortunately, though, this didn't really lead me to where I wanted to be. Um, but it looks like I have been to... Up there, Fall Arbor. How, how have I been to Fall Arbor? I don't know. Maybe maybe this is a, a fool's errand for now. 
What's up, Quattro? I like Wendigoon's FNAF timeline. Um, I feel like something a lot of people missed with the Five Nights at Freddy's lore in general is that it seems to be pretty heavily based on the real life owner of Chuck E. Cheese, I think, is the, is the guy. And what people miss about him is that he also created Atari, I think. Let me look this up really quick. Chuck E. Cheese owner Atari. Nolan Bushnell. It, it looks like um, Henry, the character Henry, was based off of Nolan Bushnell. But the thing is, as the founder of Atari, that like reconceptualizes all of the actual in-universe video game stuff in FNAF. And that's a connection and a link that I think a lot of people miss when it comes to talking about the lore, because that would mean that potentially all of the games that you play as weird little mini games could be real things created. Never mind. That's getting way too deep and convoluted. But I don't I don't think MatPat has ever even made that connection. Or if he has, I've not seen him even talk about it. So that's I find that interesting. But there's a YouTuber named Gibby, G-I-B-I, -I, that made a nine hour timeline. And I feel like he's probably the closest that anybody has ever gotten to actually figuring all that out. Isn't there that arcade game in Security Breach? Yeah. Whether or not the character Henry made that, I don't know, but... I hate FNAF just because of how oversaturated it's been. That's fair. Yeah. I, like, just hate with a burning passion anything that Zoomers enjoy in general, but I'm kind of realizing that maybe, uh... Hate without actually trying something is probably not very healthy. It's probably more toxic and, and something that I shouldn't do. But I don't know, when when kid, just just hearing the TikToks about Fortnite and stuff, like they just make me never want to ever touch Fortnite in my life, so. And there's something inherently wrong to me that you could run around as Goku with a machine gun shooting people. I just, something's wrong about that. I don't like it, so it's not for me. But if I was a Fortnite YouTuber and had an audience that I probably wouldn't even really like talking to, I bet you I'd be, uh, <laughs> I'd probably be way more popular. I'll say that. You've cracked the lore. That wasn't even me. That was Gibby. Uh, don't give me credit for that. I just watched a Gibby video. But I thought that was mind blowing because after watching like a million other lore videos, because once you watch one lore video, your entire feed turns into all lore videos, right? So then you end up watching more. You're like, all right, what is this? You keep clicking on them, and so I watched too many of them, but there's some things that Gibby figured out that I think nobody else has done, so. What's up, fat? <laughs> Why is that your name? Why is that your name? <laughs> listen, man, listen, fat. <laughs> How much time do you have to transfer over? Um, you still have time. They haven't announced the exact end date. They said it would continue on for, for the time being, but the question is when? Could be three months from now, could be six months from now, could be two months, could be a month from now, I don't know. But uh, if you're planning on doing it, I would just start getting ready to do it before you forget. 19 hour FNAF lore video, who wants it? Let the hate flow through you. Here he is playing Pokemon, says Thormern. What are you talking about? Haven't ported the HD remasters of Wind Waker and Twilight Princess to the Switch, which I think is stupid. There's been a lot of games that they're really hesitant to port to the Switch for for whatever reason. I do I do think that's interesting. Um, you don't want a team of LeBron James, Toph, Goku, and Master Chief. I mean, there there is like from a certain perspective of it being like a, almost like a Smash esque platform for a different like kind of game, right? Where like all those characters can't exist, or like you could collect them in there. There's a degree of that that I think is kind of interesting. But again, when I think about Goku running around with a machine gun, I just think this is cursed and should never happen. Ever. Um, yeah. Play as Greg in Fortnite. Tried Fortnite over only once ever. I'll admit it was fun, but it's still not my type of game. Fat shaming. Shaking my head. <laughs> All right. We should try something else now, right? Let's pop in uh, Sun. Actually, my, my Sun file might be slightly more interesting than this. I'm not sure about the downloads. Okay, $19 <laughs> Lapis Ludes. Who wants oh, no. them? And yes, they're <laughs> not safe for work. Remember, taters, taters, taters. 
and chat. And chat. Great night, Great night rocks. rocks. All right, let's do something else. Let's let's pop in um Sun, Pokemon Sun, because I got something in there that I'll show you. I don't know if I have mystery gift downloads in that game though, but I guess we'll we'll see. Next. It's cursed for sure, don't get me wrong, it's just funny. I guess so. You know, Goku and Peter Griffin, they were meant to be together. Speaking of Dragon Ball, I'm looking forward to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. That is the new Tenkaichi Budokai thing, right? They just gave it a new name. I've not played a Dragon Ball Z video game in a long time, but uh, yeah, I used to like the Budokai series a lot. Those are fun. The Stevie Theorist. I'm tired. What, what is with the Pokemon games and the bottom screen dominance here? What's what is wrong with showing stuff on the top screen, huh? Okay. Where was I? What's happening? I'm scared. We're in a cave with this big creepy man. And he's looking at me. Spark is the Japanese name. Interesting. Alolan Diglett. Uh, I was training this, um, whatchamacallit, Lurantis. It's not a Lurantis yet, but you, you get the, you get the, I named him Popeye. I forgot about that. Okay, so hold on, hold on. So this was, this was full odds. The reason why I have a Machop on my team is because of this. In, uh, in like the first dungeon in this game, it's not even a dungeon, I don't know what else to call it, but um, the hills or whatever that you go to, I found a shiny Machop. I was pretty stoked about it. I named him Popeye because he's like kind of green, I guess, for spinach. Ew. <laughs> Burn it! Again with the whack names. I started nicknaming things, um, I don't know if it came about because of, like, Nuzlocke type stuff, but I tried to give them, like, cool new names so they weren't just all the, the generic names. That's actually probably a good move. Yep, I would say that's a good move. That poor Diglett. <laughs> the anti-aliasing. Yeah, to say that uh, the Pokemon games didn't quite use the 3DS as well as they should have would be an understatement. Attention, no cap on God, for real, for real. Yup, and I'm not saying it again. That never happened, actually. a really gross shade of green that's my boy also i named um i got a female listen i reset this so many times for a jolly natured decent iv starter i don't know why i did that but i just it made me feel better about playing through the game that my pokemon didn't have like hardy nature right there, there's something about catching a pokemon with like a hardy or serious nature that makes you go like hmm uh, so I reset a crap ton of times, finally got a good nature in IV, and turns out it was a female um, Rowlet. So I named it Yumi, but I put you as in like you tree, you. It's clever, see, it's clever, right? Right? Maybe? And Popeye, I explained. He actually looks a bit more golden most of the time. Uh, Alabaster, I think, was just a kind of rock. Kaichu... I don't know why I put Kai in there. Maybe it has to do with tro something tropical, I can't remember. Orkix? I don't know, it's an orchid. 
Green shinies are not it. I like green shinies. What's wrong with green shinies? Also, I love that this 2% black thing is spreading now. <laughs> I love saying that. I don't know. It's just so funny to me. Like, imagine somebody saying to you, wait a minute, I'm 2% black. Makes no sense. It doesn't do anything. Nothing's different. It's not true. I actually, it could be possible, but I don't actually know. I've never done one of those uh, heritage test things. My uncle did, so I know like part of it, but um, I don't, I don't know like his smaller amounts. I, I don't think he is 2% black. I will be back. You think I will be back is better than you, me? I don't need, where even am I? Probably use an escape rope and get the hell out of here. Oh, here's the exit. Perfect. You got the 2% black energy? Hell yeah! Kaiju. Is that, you think that's why I did it? Ignore me? He's not like big though. Unless maybe he's like, did, did Sun and Moon have the slightly bigger sizes? Okay. Let me go. Let me out! Two percent black, like two percent milk. Yeah, everybody likes it. Just let me out of here, my poor little bud. No, I clicked the wrong button, and I'm about to send in the wrong Pokemon. You know what? Screw you, Zubat. Green Salamence is nice. That one. I don't know if I agree with your guys' takes. It's okay, but the green and the red, the specific hues of green and red they did for it, I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of. But I like um, I like green jello espion. That's one that I like. Oh, I hated this mechanic in this game, by the way. The fact that they could just endlessly call for help. Like, how did they, how did they put this in the game and think that this was okay? I could see if they did it like once and they had like a 10% chance of doing it, like rare. But the fact that they do it often and they could just keep doing it and then you just literally are chaining Pokemon to Pokemon to Pokemon, just killing each one, just trying to get out of this freaking encounter is insane. Watch him call for help again. Good for shiny training. Well, that's fair, but there should be like an item that makes them do it or something. They shouldn't just do it constantly. Like there were many encounters that I got annoyed at because I was just trying to get out of it and they kept calling for help. I don't think it was implemented in perhaps the best way, is, is what I'll say about that. They fixed it in Ultra. Thank you. Hey, hey, a city. Uh, I do have a dude there. A man is there waiting for me. This man is all mine. Look at how tall and hot. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Uh, let's store some stuff. What do I have in here? Anything cool? Not particularly. Just some normal, normal catches. Oh, this does not feel good. This is like so slow. Clicking. I like... Mm. It pains me to say it, but I don't... Oh, you're dead. That's right. I forgot. It pains me to say it, but I do not think Game Freak are the best programmers. I really don't. I, I don't think that should feel as bad as it does doing that. And what game is it? Is it Sword and Shield where the box takes like 15 seconds to load your your PC boxes? Three. Munchlax. Uh, this must have... No. This must have one of the... Items, right? Special things. Snorlium Z.
Game Freak weren't ready for 3D? Probably not. A Pikachu. Ah. Uh, Pikachunium Z. Why didn't they make it Pikachunium? What? Why didn't they make it Pikachunium Z? Why is it Pikachunium? That's crazy. Sylvalli. I think most people say Sylvalli, but I think it's supposed to be Ally. Oh, and is it shiny? Yeah. I do believe. It was Scarlet and Violet. Works good nowadays. I have a stage one evolution only run of Ultra Sun and never finished. I don't know why I even started it. That's interesting. Sounds like you'd be bored of the team though after a while since they're not changing at all. Gold bottle cap. I know that's good. I'm assuming Brave is not the nature you want here. Yeah. I'll say. Okay, interesting. So unfortunately, these files are really not all that impressive, obviously, because you could, as you could tell, I've not beaten the game on, on either of these. Where's my uh, information? Where's my trainer card? I can't be in there, can't? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, 2016. <laughs> 11, 2016, right. That seems about right. Oh, that's right. They did, they did uh, the different trials in this game, so it's not even easy to uh, understand the amount of badges I have. It looks like one... Is that really? No, I swear I did the water one, though. Listen, I don't know. I got scammed or something. Do the Pokemon face petting mechanic? Uh, this is not it. I may have clicked on the wrong thing. Now we know why Lucky skipped 3DS Pokemon games on shutdown stream. Not that interesting. It's actually not why. I'm doing it today. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll be showing you my X file, all right? That one I actually played. Okay. Uh, this is not where I pet things, right? I don't. I don't believe so. I, I thought this mechanic was interesting, but I never really used it. So. Refresh. That's what it's called. In this game. You cleared one island so far. Why? Why must we use the bottom screen constantly? Now my layout... You know what? No, I can't fix it right now. I can't... I can't do it. <laughs> Just tapping it. Tapping it on the head. I'll massage your little bow tie. I actually think Decidueye is a really cool Pokemon. This was back when I didn't really hate the starters, the new starters, quite as much. Although I was really disappointed by Incineroar, I'll say. Because um, Litten is really cool, but I do not like Incineroar. Oh, wait, I should feed you a thingy. Who wants a jelly bean? I have to do this till I get a certain amount of hearts. Like the yellow one? You can't get it. You can't get it. <laughs> try to try to get it. Try to get it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you want this? You want? Oh, go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I pissed him off. <laughs> okay. Bipedal wrestler trash. I love Incineroar. I just think I saw the potential for them to do a dark, almost like Luxray X. Luxray esque Panther on all four legs with Litten's evolution. And they did not go that route at all. No, instead they decided to make a dark fire Pokemon that looks like a, a fighting type when the whole complaint was for years, please stop doing fire fighting type Pokemon, right? So they finally did it, but they still made him look like a freaking fighting type Pokemon. Why would you do that? That's how you know they don't. Okay, that, that time I didn't mean I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it that time. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. He's kind of cool. I liked Rowlet Lion based on extinct owl species in Hawaii. That's why it becomes ghost. See, that? that's cool. That's cool. Don't forget to breathe. Incineroar is my favorite. Listen, if I'm insulting your favorite, then I apologize, but I'm just sharing my real thoughts, okay? Teasing animals with food. I swear I'm not sadistic. I'm just having fun, okay? I definitely, definitely have not booted up this game since, well, a long time, and my Pokemon are starving and, and will do anything for a bite of food. And I'm teasing them. Certainly not. All right, so this file isn't all that interesting. Should we check out uh, X and Y? Specifically X in this case. I did like how they how the they did the Pokemon trainers in this. Like I like how customizable your your character is. Um, obviously they did that in Sword and Shield as well. Although the, the outfit choices are were kind of lacking in that game, I think. Right. But this is a pretty cool player character. Kind of scaled up. You're like taller. I have to say, like, I didn't hate the, the world here of, of Alola, the region so far. The Hawaiian vibe, I think I'm pretty cool with. Let's check out XCOM next. Me thinks not. Not today. Then we got grass fighting next generation and a fighting themed fire dark type in the gen after that. 100% convinced that they changed Incineroar's type from fighting to dark at the last minute and made him a heal. Maybe they did. But do you think they actually pay attention to online feedback? I kind of think they just close their ears and ignore it. I think with the National Dex thing, it was too big to ignore, and they definitely saw that. But uh, what did I do? Oh, did I click the game? I don't know what I did. Come on. Come back. Can the next Pokemon game come with less complaining, maybe? Am I am I souring your Pokemon vibe, Roy? What are you gonna do when you're once Tristan, please. Please type coherently. I can't when I'm out of Pokemon games for it to show. Uh that's a good question. This one has more to it. I actually played quite a bit of this. I actually wonder if that update has to do with the uh, bank at all. No, you do you, King. Eight badges. Actually pretty decent Pokedex, right? I don't know what Max was at this point in time, but... That is a horrible clip title, Luoma. Why would you do that? Why do you like to create demented stuff and blame it on me? Let's see what we got here. I was clearly... Doing some kind of hatching. Wait, is this, uh, organize?
You can see here are my dittos. I marked which IVs they had, but these are not my good ones even. This is that's that's a breeding folder. Here's a parents folder filled with a whole bunch of things. So I actually bred on this game probably the most. Because see where would I have put them? Holy crap. What was fun about this game was uh, the PSS and Wonder Trade. This was the first game with Wonder Trade, and that was such an incredible feature. Here's an Events and Legends box, but hold on. Let me let me find something else. Yeah, so I bred Froakies for a long time because I wanted a black Greninja. And unfortunately, do I still have it? The problem with Greninja is even if you get a shiny one, you want the ability Protean on it. Um, and so unfortunately, the first shiny I got of it was not... Just kind of heartbreaking. Mick Stabby, that's a creative name. Uh, Doppel, because it's Gengar. Dig Dug, <laughs> I named the Excadrill Dig Dug. Very Wall, Gliscor is Very Wall. Red Robin, and Critster. Critster. I forgot about that because he has the crit build with uh, Skill Link. Huh. There's Critster. Okay, uh, is he in here? That's a shiny Shelter. Did I breed this or did I get it? I must have gotten this from Wonder Trade or a trade with somebody. Link Trade. Traded somebody for that. That's cool. Almost the same team I had? Really? That's wild. This is a shiny chest spin. I traded for, it looks like. Um, it has maxed IVs, though, so I don't know the likelihood of that person having hacked that Pokemon first. Where, Where is my Greninja, though? Oh, there he is. There he is! Yup, I put a lot of hours into this thing. 2013. Wow. I don't know what this ribbon is from. Not a crit build, it's a skill link build. Well, yeah, it is for max hits, but you hope that one of them crits. I think was the was the purpose of why I named it Critster. Shelterhead Pokerus, I saw that, yeah. R.I.P. Wonder Trade, you'll be missed. I didn't think about that. Oh, you're right, sir. Soul Eater reference? Yep. A little bit. I didn't watch all of Soul Eater, though, to be honest with you. But this this was around that time that I would have had seen it. I think I saw Soul Eater in, like... 2011. That's a daily one. So yeah, it's always been a hard debate for me as to whether or not I would transfer up. There is the Raikou. Yes, the stream thumbnail was not a lie. GameStop Raikou. With hidden power. I wonder what IV that is on there. I would probably trade this thing up, to be honest. So that I could have this in modern games. But, but also, because they're doing the National Dex thing now, um, would I even be able to have Raikou? I don't know. You get seven either in this game, Sinnoh, or Malville Hills. Maybe we should get a bunch of ribbons on, on Pokemon. Attention, all <laughs> epic QT 3.14 gamers. I bring you an urgent <laughs> announcement. Okay, $19 GameStop Raikou. Who wants it? And yes, he's getting transferred up. Remember, time is running out. Time is running out. Time is running out. And haters. Don't get shocked. Oh, I got it. There we go. You got a Battle Mason ribbon on it? Did I? 
Oh yeah, I you know what? I probably did because I was probably uh, happy with this thing. Yeah. Cool. I don't remember that, but it sounds like it would have happened probably. There's a Japanese Halucha I got somehow that was actually uh, five IV. I marked the, the IVs with those little symbols. I don't know if other people do that or not. I think they were in this era. I don't know if they do that anymore. If, I don't even know if that those are even still there anymore in modern Pokemon, but um, these are five Haxorus, AKA Haxorus. Haxorus is a cool dragon type. That's, this is a fun Pokemon. One of my favorites from black and white. Um, looks like I hatched this guy. And he also has the ribbon. That's cool. You get another one for a 50 streak. Ouch. Freeze, FBI. The Articuno. Why, why did I, I don't know why I named it that, but that's funny. I appreciate that, 2013, Stevie. Oh, that's right, because so in this game, based on your starter, I think, right, you get an endgame legendary, and I lucked out because I picked Chespin. I think I got Articuno. So I went to go find him in his cave, and I think it was guaranteed for three IVs, right? So I reset until I either synchronized the timid nature or something onto him. Um, basically, I wanted him with the timid nature, right? <laughs> I'm freezing. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. That's what I named my Haxorus? Really? Yveshku says, I don't know if I'll transfer up much from my older games, but perhaps. Yeah, it's always heartbreaking because it's like you don't want to ruin the file that they're from, right? Like you wouldn't want to strip it of anything useful. You might as well start a brand new game at that point. And do you really want to play through the old game? I mean, maybe you do, but... But then once again, once you finish that run, you're at the same crossroads again where you're like, well, this is here's this new team that I really like. Do I want to transfer them up? And that sucks. So, uh, yeah, I feel like something like that Raikou, like at least that's like it has nothing to do with this file specifically. It was just a download Pokemon. In fact, um, was this from black and white first? Maybe not. I don't know. No, I think you'd have a different ribbon, right? Probably. I'm not sure, but I think there was a shiny Raikou event for black and white. A shiny uh, legendary dog. Or legendary beast, I should say. Sharknado. Nice. Silky. Uh, This thing needs to be leveled up, right? No, that is Whimsicott. Never mind. I was thinking Whimsicott looked different. Dark old soul silver. Umbreon. Meow Mix! That's right, I bred for this thing. I really liked this Pokemon Meow Stick for some reason. I don't know if I still do quite as much. It's got really freaky ears. I think in retrospect, the ears didn't. Uh, didn't bode very well. All right, let's let's check out the um, that legendary box I found. Here's another competitive box. Where was that legendary box? Events and legends. Let's look through these and I'll look at where they're from. Some of these I might have transferred up. Oh, I forgot to turn on this light today. Whoa. Which cave can you find the legendary birds in X and Y? Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. You'll have to look it up. It's somewhere like down left. If I had to guess, I think it's down left from the world, like out in the water somewhere. I forgot how to get there and what to do, but 
it does exist. It's in the post game though. You have to have beaten the game, I think. Um, there's a shiny Entei. Shiny Giratina, Giratina. It's north. It's at the north of the region. Okay. I was wrong. Shiny Dialga. These are all event Pokemon. The exact opposite. No, I said down left. That's not exact opposite. If you're going to get nitpicky, at least be correct about your nitpickiness. This must have been a shiny, legendary, like, giveaway event. Is that shiny Zekrom? No, it's not. Xerneas. Another Celebi. A Japanese Cherish Ball Pikachu. Victini. Uh, I don't know why Salamence is in here. Gobalion. Verizion. Or Verizion. Terrakion. I never liked these things as much as Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. Thank you, Iveshku. The legends had timid nature. Oh yeah, these these all do. Did I do that on purpose, I wonder? Why do these all have timid? Would all of these want timid? I don't even know. Maybe they did. I hate these things. Can I I've ranted about this before, but I wish I if I could delete any Pokemon from existence, it would be these stupid things. And I hate that Landorus T is like useful and competitive. I don't know if it still is in modern days, but at least up until a couple of years ago, it was still useful and competitive. And I, I just despise these ugly things. Legendary beasts are goaded. Thank you. I, I would agree with that. But what can I say? I'm a, I'm a nostalgic guy. So those are what I grew up with. I thought I had another shiny Froakie somewhere though, unless I traded him away. Oh, I should have a shiny box in here somewhere. This was like a like kind of decent, but kind of also junk or extra box. I have Isn't extras of these. So cool. These must have been transferred up if I have extras. I must have gotten them from both of the games or something. Or people were wonder trading them, maybe? I don't know. I didn't I tell me I didn't name this thing. I didn't. Augustus, I don't know why you named it that. Okay. Still good, but not as much. What's wrong with the anal beads, Cloud Man? Uh, he's ugly looking. I, I just and I hate that all three of them look like basically exactly the same. If there was only one Pokemon that looked like that, sure. But they made three of them that basically look exactly the same. They're cheap imitations of former legendary trios, and I just hate them. I don't know. I I know that they're based on the um the Jin, right? Like Raijin and stuff like that or whatever, but those like god spirits. I just don't like those. Everyone's got Pokemon they hate, okay? I'm just saying if God gave me the opportunity to delete one Pokemon, it would probably be one of those. This is also I was getting so many wonder trades, like I was doing this so much. There's another Pokerest Pokemon. Um, I was doing this so much, or at least there's a Pokerest in this game. I was doing this so much that I had like actual fodder of like so many different Pokemon that I could choose to breed with, like breed starters basically that I wouldn't have to work at as hard. But this game introduced the Masuda method where if you breed with a Pokemon from another game region, like a lot of these Pokemon are Japanese, um, the shiny odds go up, which was insane. I, I really quite liked that new wrinkle to breeding, and that's why I did a lot of it in this game. There's a cool Absol. Absol is one of my favorites. I think it's a lot of people's though. Where's where's my shiny box? I was breeding Hone Edges. It looks like. Synchronize. 
That's my synchronized bin. We're all with good natures. A parent's bin. Why is this main box? Gerana mats. There's no way that I did that one, did I? Thank God I did not. <laughs> Listen, there's some nicknames in here that are bad, like even beyond me. Oh, I caught this wild. This was a full odds in a cave. It's a nice surprise, but I don't love uh, the Wismer line. What's up, Cobb Shots? How long until you can't transfer from bank to home? They didn't say, but the fact that 3ds online is shut down tells me time is of the essence it could be a month from now it could be six months from now i don't know i would hope that they would make a big announcement but basically if you want old stuff i would start getting into the process of doing it oh here's the here here he is this was the first shiny froki i bred that did not have protean that i my, i was heartbroken and his ivs were not that good i think either i don't know how many eggs i must have hatched but it was a lot and a shiny trap inch. Uh, did I get that too? I might have hatched that or something. Friend Safari. Oh yeah, because Friend Safaris. I forgot about Friend Safaris. That's dead now. That's sad. Friend Safaris had like really good shiny rates, I think, right? Shiny Eggmons are mixed race. I guess, yeah. I guess. This, where did I? This, I might have gotten this from Wonder Trade. Yeah, I don't know where this came from, but this is kind of cool. Shiny coughing. Shooting out toxic, noxious fumes. What else we got in here? There's a six IV Froki. Or like a normal, a normal boring, not black Greninja. Another six IV Froki. Gecko-matic. Did I do that one? I did not. OT Maryland. Um, I don't know if that's actually Maryland, though, or not, but that's a pretty famous Pokemon person. That's probably why I kept it. There's the OG. There's my starter. And I think my original team is in here, yeah. I thought I had more shiny Pokemon, like a bit. Oh, where did this come from? Protean got nerfed real hard in Gen 9. I think I remember hearing that, yeah. This this I must have got. Yeah, I got this from a trade. Must have been on a forum or something, talking to people. Shiny Trevenant. Looks like a weirwood tree from Game of Thrones. Pretty sweet. Level 1, though. Shiny Gardevoir. I probably traded for this. I don't think I bred this. Yeah, it's OT Ash. Yep. Barely used that. My very first shiny was an Eevee. I accidentally evolved it into the gross green Espeon. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Here's a shiny Talonflame. I definitely traded for this. I did not breed this. Yeah. That's cool. Though. I should probably transfer some of this up these cool things. I don't know if they end up the right moves anymore. These must have all been trades. Osmond? Does not seem... Yeah, that's not a nickname I would have given it. Osmond the Shiny Haxorus with Pokeris. When stuff has Pokeris, it, do, it does make you question. There's a Shiny uh, Glaceon. That's fun. Shiny, uh, shiny Empoleon. This this is something that I transferred up, but I don't remember if I read that or not. I like Green Espeon because it always reminded me of an alien. We all knew Stevie had a shiny Gardevoir. I'm surprised it's not a male and called It's a Trap. Nope. 
Uh, and we all knew that. I mean, that's just not true. This is I got this from a trade. All right. I don't know why you're hacking on it. This is not. I know there's a lot of rule 34 crap with Gardevoir, but that that doesn't that Pokemon doesn't do anything for me. OK, you sicko. Did I No, that must have been one I transferred up. Pringles. Just a bro. Goku, the Lucario. Swagonite. I like I like shiny. Who who said green shinies were bad? Get in here. Get in here. Dragonite is a beautiful shiny. I don't even care. Come fight me. You actually use Chespin based. I, I think Chestnut is like kind of boring looking because his head is kind of boring, but I do like Chespin. And, and Chestnut's fine. It's just not. The design could be better, but I don't hate it. Calm mind down. Pickle Knight. Bad shiny. Get out of here. Get out of here. Celery. The Caesar. Jello shot. There we go. Yes. Yes. I oftentimes coped. Tell me this is not the greatest thing you've ever seen. It looks like a fresh tray of green jello that just came out of the fridge. And honestly, I think that's amazing. W names, thank you. <laughs> My first shiny was a Puchiana right after beating the Elite Four. I thought it was a reward for becoming champion because it was gold. I love that. Release that Espeon? No thanks. Escar, no. I definitely did that one, didn't I? Yeah, I did that one. <laughs> Red Ranger. The Bisharp. Corona. The Volcarona. Daisho for the Shogun. Oh, I like the, is it the newer animate? There's like newer animations where it pulls the swords out of its things. I, I think Samurott has a really gross uh, evolution. Like Dua in the middle should have looked way different than Oshawa. It just completely turns into something what, like it has, it has a bad progression, but I like Samurott. And I really like me and Shao. This thing is cool. It's always been like a not that great Pokemon though, right? Isn't it like kind of a glass cannon type deal? And like underused tier or, or lower. Which upsets me, but it is what it is. I have two shiny Haxorises. Haxorai. There's definitely some stuff here that I would probably want to bring up and not have locked forever on this Game Boy, but I don't know how much of a purge I would do off this file because it would just ruin it, right? Don't fear the Tear Reaper. I, dude, I hate Smogon Tears. I really do. I think it's like, I, I get why it exists, and I think if Smogon didn't do it, someone else would, but I think it's made Pokemon battling worse, to be honest. But yeah, that's uh, that's this file. Did a lot of breeding, a lot of wonder trading, but as you can see, there's not that many like whole and complete Pokemon. Also, what was th what is this drip that I got going on here? This is crazy. Four hundred forty-two hours. That's um. That is something. That is something right there. Why not get Pokemon Legends Arceus for Wednesday stream rotation? Because there's enough other games like Unicorn Overlord that I just bought recently that I've not finished. But I, multiple people have asked me to get that game. But to be fair, I would I would buy it used if I was gonna buy it. I'm not sure I want to give Modern Game Freak any money, to be to be fair. 
I guess I would have to with Pokemon Home, right? If I transferred up. But. Hisuian Samurott's better than regular Samurott. Uh, I forget what's different, but the Hisuian things were kind of interesting. It has like a purple back shell thing, right? Something like that. Kept mine a Duat because it's so cool looking. Oshawott is goofy but neat. Duat is very cool. Samura is playing awesome. One of my favorite starter lines. I, I like each of them. I just think it looks like... It goes from Oshawott, right? To like bigger Oshawott. To like demented large seal monster samurai. Like, the, like there's no... Usually the mid stage is like half of the first and half of the last, right? In like this this melded form. It, it's too abrupt of a change from Duat to Samurai in my book. But I'm not saying the line is like bad as in like all the designs are bad. I think the progression is bad, if that makes sense. Black and white has to be the first time I didn't pick the fire starter, says Mary Sue. That is like a, a very... um. There are people that swear by that for some reason. Maybe because they started with Charmander back in the day. That is a thing. I would probably be like Team Water. Well, actually, with the files I showed you, I guess I'm Grass Team. But I only picked Bulbasaur once in, in the OG. Hydri says, I've come to terms with Smogon, though it helps that I'm doubles in VGC primarily. Come to terms with it? <laughs> that means like accepting. Accepting that you're in a bad relationship. <laughs> But there's nothing you can do. Come to terms. Look at all my acqu my 2013 acquaintances. Where what do you think this girl is right now? She appears to be Japanese. You think she's living a good life right now? She likes um Zygarde. From Kagoshima. Kagoshima? Snivy all the way. Stevie, in two weeks, I'll send you a special thing of Fire Emblem history that I own for your collection. Tristan, please do not, don't send me more things. Please stop. Don't do that. I appreciate the thought, but like, you don't need to send me things. You've sent enough. This loop is bothering me. Gamer Swordsman says, I choose between water and fire starters, but for my very first one, it was Pikachu due to getting Pokemon Yellow as my very first Pokemon game. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I feel like grass is typically not the most popular type. Even starting with Bulbasaur. So, I guess what we would look at now, right? We, we did this. Let's close this. I think. I wanted to get acquaint acquainted with what was on there. Now let's open this and see how seamless this is. Good night, sir. Firestarters always appealed to me for some reason, but I really liked Oshawott more than the others. If you truly are grass team, show me your Chikorita. I picked Chikorita the first time. I played gold and silver, I think. That's how you know. That's how you know. But heart gold and soul silver, I did not. I picked Typhlosion because uh, Typhlosion is cooler. Sorry. <laughs> The Pokey Bank girl is hot. <laughs> Kevin says, I picked the cutest one or the one with an interesting second typing. Yeah, I feel like they should vary the secondary typings way more. Pre-trial period for 60 days. Is that counting down from now since I started it? Ugh. Yeah, I think I just pick which one I like the best. 
But I don't think, like, I've spoiled the evolutions for myself for a long time. And I'll be honest, I don't know, there must be a stipulation where Pokemon Bank eventually deletes your stuff in here too. Because I swear I put a couple things into Pokemon Bank. Maybe I didn't, maybe I was too cautious, but actually I'm kind of curious, let me look this up. Because I know with, um, I don't know, I think Pokemon Home even has stipulations that they would eventually delete your Pokemon, right? Eventually? Like if you stop paying? Let me look this up. Pokemon Bank. Is this a real? Hold on. Did they really do this? Oh, why'd you take me to the general support? That's not what I wanted. Look at this article. What's up, Reen? Is there any way... How long exactly before the Pokemon and bank get deleted after a subscription end? Is there any way to make sure we're notified before this happens? Of course not. <laughs> That's scary. See that? That's scary. But where is that article? They're gone. The articles are gone. Of course he didn't like that. No, All my Pokemon from Bank are gone. No. Let's see, what is this? Nine years ago. It's real? The pass expired in the duration I didn't look, so I shrugged it off and made a $5 purchase to get it back. I mean, it's worth it, right? I get to see all my Pokemon again. Well, that's what I thought. All my events, collectibles, living decks of completed Pokemon, and the extras gone. Wiped. I contacted Nintendo support, and the guy was sincere. He tried finding every way of finding a solution. Blah, blah, blah. He felt disgusted and left a sour taste in his mouth as well. Bop. Let me see. You're given a time frame to withdraw your Pokemon after your pass expires. After that, you're basically effed. Why would they do that? You see that? That's so mean, dude. I get it. Like, they don't want to keep all that extra data, useless data on their servers. Sure. But, like, that is mean. That is so mean. Apparently so, Mary Sue. I, I know they made bank free eventually, so I don't know what that means now. Right? So Pokemon, what I want to know then is for Pokemon Home, do they do, they do the same thing for Pokemon Home? Uh, deleted my Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon Home deleted my Pokemon. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Currently going through a mid-month move, so all my finances are tied up between moving costs and blah, blah, blah. My account is set up to renew the three-month subscription on March 16th. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to bounce. This guy a year ago says, no, nah, they're all still there. You just can't see or access them until you pay your subscription fee. Is that true? Home does not delete your Pokemon when your subscription runs out. All it does is make them inaccessible until you pay again. Note that this was strictly different than with Pokemon Bank, where if you don't pay, all your Pokemon in there get wiped. That's crazy. I can't believe they ever did that. That is so crazy. Jerks. Every time your subscription ends, you'll only be able to move the last 30 Pokemon you left in there. I mean, I guess if this is the case, I'm less uh, concerned about transferring some things up, right? Should we? What do you guys say? Stevie, what's a Pokemon that's a case of, it's actually great, you guys are just mean for you? Um, You want to do a hot take? We'll do a hot take. I gotta, I gotta look at the list though. Wait, where's my beautiful little sprites? Why have you done this?
here we go good enough let's start let's start at the end i feel i feel like in the beginning it's not as meaningful this stuff doesn't mean anything to me i didn't play scarlet and violet um i oh i like duraludon some people don't like duraludon because it looks like a lighter and it's made out of like aluminum or something but i kind of like that design I, I will say I don't hate a lot of the modern Pokemon, which is what's kind of a shame about it is like, I would be intrigued to like try some of these, but I don't actually know that I, I don't, I don't think I actually want to play Scarlet and Violet, to be honest. I'm kind of upset at the way those games run. I think it was not cool the way they released it. Um, Didn't Ken Sugimori also stop doing the artwork for this gen? Isn't it just a bunch of people emulating his style now? Like that's not Ken Sugimori that did that. You could tell the shading's all different. They tried to do it like him, but that's not. He wouldn't have. There's there's certain choices here that he would not have done. Anyway, uh, Pokemon that everyone hates that I think is actually not bad. What would that be? This abomination I've actually come to like, but I know there's a lot of people upset with the. Uh, the, what do you call them, the fossil Pokemon from Sword and Shield because you can never get the perfect combination. It's kind of funny, but they are like demented creatures. I like all creamy. Can I, can I transfer Raikou to Sword and Shield? I don't know who any of these new Pokemon are. I like Hatterene actually too, and Grimmsnarl's not bad. Oh, I was doing when I when I did play Sword and Shield, they had these raids that would happen, and there was a I don't know if it was like hacked by somebody or whatever, but there were these public raids that were online and they would like rotate and change like daily or something, or multiple times throughout the day. There was a shiny Hatterene one that I got into, a Gigantamax Hatterene. And I must have tried three times, three separate times on that thing, and I, I didn't get it, and I was I was really upset. Uh, what's a what's a Pokemon everyone hates though? I think we gotta go back farther. I this is the exact opposite of your question, Hydri, but I hate this thing. I hate this. This would be on my short list of Pokemon I would delete if given the opportunity. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I don't like that it gets closed and becomes like a soccer rabbit. I, I guess in retrospect, it's not as offensive as I as I first found it, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't like the starters of this generation at all. I don't. Gro I feel like Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble had so much potential. Maybe less so Sobble, but I really Grook. I was Team Grookey from day one. But Rillaboom is like boring. Just does nothing for me. I don't know. I don't know. In, in retrospect, I think I don't hate them quite as much as I did when they first got revealed and leaked. But I, I haven't really enjoyed modern starters so much. I would say. What's a, what's a Pokemon that people hate, though? Stealth was also never fond of any of the starter Evos. Why are we talking shit about Sword and Shield again? I mean, I'll do it, but isn't it passe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm just recapping. I was asked a question about Pokemon design. So let me, let me find a design that... I, I think, unfortunately, we gotta go back farther. Um... A lot of people didn't like Primarina because you you take this Pokemon. It's it's, it's almost like the, the Gardevoir thing, right? Like it's a very feminine looking evolution, which is fine. But if you have a male Poplio that like you're excited about and it turns into that, I could see someone being kind of upset about that. Also, 87% like this should have been flipped, right? This should be mostly female if they're going to look like that at the end. I, I mean, I, it's it's fine, but for me personally, if I was going to have this Pokemon, I don't think I would want that to be a boy. I just... That's my personal take on that one. But I, I don't hate the design of that. Um, Incineroar is the exact opposite of your question. 
a Hydre. I hate Incineroar with a with a fiery patch. The fact that Tora Cat is still on all fours and still panthery, and then he turns into like literally Tony the Tiger from a cereal box. If this was a separate Pokemon, whatever. It can exist. That's fine. Totally fine. But to go from this to that is I find deeply upsetting. I was just really excited for like a dark looking Luxray esque Black Panther type starter Evo. But one what's one that I like that everyone hates? There's definitely it definitely exists. It definitely exists. Meowstic might be on that list. I do like Meowstic, and it's not that popular, I feel. Diggersby, I do not like. Diggersby, actually, the fact that his ears are arms, I find really uh, concerning and disgusting. It's a freak of nature. Trubbish. Oh, you know what? Trubbish might be the one. I actually kind of like Trubbish, if I'm being honest. There, there's my hot take. We, we were almost to Trubbish. Is there anything else that counts for me? Clink Clang I hate, but I think that's a pretty common. I like Clink. I like this Pokemon a lot. I really do, but it should have just been like a one, one stager or something. But this, I don't know what they were going for this, but this is lame as hell. I don't like that. This is great, though. But Diggersby scares me. Diggersby haunts my nightmares. Uh, Amoongus is another one on the short list of Pokemon that I would delete if I was given the opportunity. It's maybe not quite as offensive as the Genies to me, but I do not like that Pokemon, and I hate that it has like a weird tubed beak mouth. It's creepy. I don't like it. Should have just had like an open mouth. Like a, like a tree mouth or something. You like seal? Seal's okay. It's just boring. Hiya, papaya. Um, I do I do like the ice cream Pokemon. All right, so yeah, I guess I guess the natural the natural progression of this conversation, if you're gonna ask me, the ones that I like that nobody else likes, is is probably some of the Gen Five hotly debated ones that people always reference as like horrible Pokemon designs. I think this is okay. I really do, because if we're, if we're gonna have Grimer and Muck, which are just pools of sludge, I'm okay with a Pokemon that emulates a garbage bag. Uh, I like Trubbish more than Garbodor, though. If I'm being honest, I think I think this is a cooler design. This is one that I don't hate. Garbodor's peak design. I think he's got a creepy, gross, like straw, like a like a straw arm. Like, like somebody threw away their Burger King or Wendy's straw in the garbage and it, like... <laughs> it's weird. It's definitely weird, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, and as for the ice cream Pokemon, I also like this one, sorry. I think, I think what's weird about Pokemon and Pokemon designs, right, is I don't know if what they're trying to say, the developers and the creators behind creating the Pokemon, I don't know if what they're trying to say with some of these are like, this is what the actual real world thing in Pokemon was based on, right? So maybe this Pokemon existed and somebody saw that and was like, oh, let's put our creamed milk in a little cone thing, like inspired by that Pokemon. And then ice cream was like based off of this ice cream Pokemon, right? Do you think that's what they're trying to say with this? Otherwise it is a little too on the nose for being like a straight ice cream cone. But if that's what they were thinking with it, then I kind of get that and I could kind of accept that. But also, I just, I don't hate that design, to be honest. It's kind of like the wheezing of Gen 5 in that it's got the weird two heads. But Vanillite is cute. I don't know. I, these don't upset me. Everybody likes Vanillux? That is not how it used to be. Why of all Pokemon did Garb Odor get a G-Max form? Because you could do fun stuff with it where there's like toy boats and ships inside of it, right? Where is it? That's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know why they're toys. Oh, because people threw them in the garbage, I guess? 
But since it's Gigantamax, like it would just be cool if it was a real ship, like a, like a rotting. Uh, Pokemon would never do it because it's too like dark. But they should have like rotting, decrepit, rusted cars and like ships, and planes and whatnot. Like just just make it like an actual garbage heap, like like a a scrapyard inside of it. That would have been sick. But this isn't bad. I just don't really understand why it's toys inside of it. It's like too kitty. But that's fine. It is what it is. Um, I, I think those are probably my hottest takes in terms of uh, oh this this thing got a Hisuian form. I don't think I knew that. Interesting. Those are probably my hottest takes. I don't think there's like anything else that I would super disagree with people about. Gen 4 stuff is pretty okay. Luxray is one of my favorites. But that's not probably that's not surprising. I'm sure. I also like Glalie. I feel like Glalie is kind of underrated. Not a lot of people like Glalie. I don't know. It's weird and it's kind of like creepy as hell, but uh, I think it's cool. I like Ice type a lot. What's up, Jamstaro? Sadly for me, I have to say goodbye to my living shiny Kanto decks and my living decks up to Gen 4. As much as I'll miss them, I just have zero way to retrieve them. I mean... That's not that bad though, right? Because like they're still in the game that you got them in. It's still kind of nostalgic in that sense, and you'll always have the, the cartridge, right? I would definitely make sure if you're talking Gen 1 and Gen 2 that you buy a mega memory card do i it's in the thing back there i'd have to go get it i would definitely make sure you buy a mega memory card or something like that to save your file because if those batteries ever die all your stuff's gone and that would not be very fun um yeah oh deep freeze had said i think you're looking too far into it about the ice cream thing well i just think like 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 trubbish right why is trubbish a garbage bag is that because is that because people saw Trubbish in the wild and said like, oh, look at that. Like they put all their rotting stuff or that Pokemon is like rotting stuff in a green sack. Maybe we should throw away our garbage and rotting in like sacks like that. And then like it, it inspired garbage bags. Or is it a weird Pokemon that saw garbage bags and wanted to be in the inner city because of its typing or it just wanted to be in that area for some reason and then slowly evolved over years and thousands of years or something to become a garbage bag? I don't know. I don't know how that works. But did the chicken come first or the egg come first? That's what I'm wondering. Eggs had said Gen 5 is great, but I'm not a fan of a lot of their original Pokemon designs. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I feel like Gen 5 was like a hard reset for the series. They like tried to make new versions of like most of the classics, right? Some of them I like. Some of them are less successful. I think I think um, Scraggy and Scrafty, like stuff like that is just weird. I, I don't know why we needed that. Like... I get that, like, you made it based off... Did I go too far? No. I get that it's, like, based off a of hoodlum or whatever, but, like, it's just not cool. Where is this thing? I went too far. Who who looks at this and is like, yeah, that's, that's freaking awesome, dude. I just think that ain't it, chief. It's almost like Dunsparce like to be honest. This one was fighting orange colored. But some of these are interesting. Kofagrigus I like, but I hated that you couldn't even rename it. Because uh FAG was in the name and their own systems detected it moronically. Back in the day. Scientist 1, we should call this this one Ekans. It's like snake, but backwards. Scientist 2, what the F is a snake? Yeah, exactly. Any Pokemon based on off inanimate object, objects just seem to be disliked at first. It's true. Yeah, I would agree with that. Do we have, what's, um, did Scarlet and Violet do that again? Is there a, also, some people hate this. 
I don't hate that as much as I probably should. It's okay. It's okay. They, they could have done my boy worse. Uh, how do I feel about the Entei one? I don't know. The, the Suicune one I think is cool, isn't it? That's like okay. It's like a some kind of dinosaur, right? With the big shield head. Where's um where's the sweet good one? Oh. This one's okay. Attention, all Gracia 776 gamers. I bring you an urgent announcement. I don't know why you know this. The top three of Pokemon Rule 34 are number three Pikachu? Ew. Number two, Gardevoir. Number one was at Lucario. Ew. Why? 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 Um, yeah, I have to say, uh, I think when it comes to Scarlet and Violet, I don't mind the new Pokemon as much. It's more, it's more, I boycotted it due to the poor performance. This thing's kind of cool. Although it's like very boring looking when it's modeled three-dimensionally. This thing is insanely bad looking. It just looks horrendously lazily made. It's like all basic shapes. I don't know, like, is that supposed to like imply it's like forged out of stone or like rock? It has like rock veins in it. I don't know. It just, it's, that's a weird one. I don't hate the overall like silhouette, like the concept. Um, it just, I just think it looks horrible in the game. Max Caliber is okay for the, for the, Regional Dragon. I actually will say, I think to Scarlet and Violet's credit, I think Area Zero is a really cool idea, and I love the music. I hate uh, Undertale, but the creator of Undertale, I think, did that music track and other music tracks as well for the game, and I have to give him credit. I think he did some great music. Palafin's kind of creepy to me. This, this Pokemon just kind of reminds me of like Hilda from Fire Emblem or something. It's like a little strange, but it's fine. It's, it's kind of cool. I don't know. I don't, I don't really mind these so much. This, this thing looks like it belongs in Minecraft. So I kind of don't like it specifically because of that. I like Minecraft, but like, why is there Minecraft in my Pokemon? You know what I'm saying? And this is a, a horrific. I mean, what is that? That's just scary. That's really scary to me. But the final ev evolution, like I kind of understand, like it's, that's okay. It's like a golem thing, whatever. Cool. That can exist. That's fine. I think Arboliva is kind of boring. I think they could have done something cooler with that. Small of I really like. This this is probably the most unnecessary three tier evolution I've ever seen in my life. I would delete both of these in a heartbeat. I do not like this. Whatever this is. That's creepy. That looks like a small kid got turned into a Pokemon. A small chubby boy got turned into a Pokemon. Someone blasted him with a scientific laser beam and he's now a Pokemon. That's scary. I don't like that. This, I'm fine with this. This is, this is a Pokemon to me. That's a Pika clone. That can exist. The other thing I don't want to talk about. Uh, sorry, I missed you. What's up, a city ant? Don't look up Hisuian Lilligant art. Uh-oh. Ice grenade Pokemon, you're talking about Glalie? Is that what Glalie is? I always took Glalie to be like a weird hockey mask type deal. I don't know. Gen 5 gets way too much flack for their Mon designs. That's that's probably fair, yeah. Conk Elder, yeah, that one. Uh, I like Tim, the thing is that I like Timber, but Conk Elder is just such a gross looking book. Oh, Minior. Minior is one of my favorites. This this is like of of more modern. At this point, this is not even modern anymore. But 
of like newer gen Pokemon, I'd love this thing. This thing is cool. I've never gotten one yet though. I didn't get that far in Sun. But that was one of the goals. I like that thing. Aquanid. Araquanid. Araquanid and Dupider would delete. Would delete in a heartbeat. <laughs> if I you know what? Should I do a tier list? Should this become a tier list? This is basically a tier list already. There are a handful of Pokemon I would absolutely delete if, if given the opportunity. I would Mandela affect everyone. I would just delete them and pretend they never existed. And then when people asked, when that one person that's like, wait, Araquanid, that was my favorite Pokemon. What happened to it? Oh, I just pretend that it was never, <laughs> it was never a thing. I don't want it to be a thing. Hisui and Gudra is kind of cool. I like that it gets like the snail You're show. You're making a mess. You're done. You are done. Am I? Am I? Uh, we were looking at uh, Conk Elder though. Hold on. Was it this gen? No, it's five. I, I hate its concrete things that it holds. I really do. And it's like a weird old creepy clown man. This, I just don't like. Who is the audience for this? Actually, I, what's more offensive than than anything about it are the weird vein things on it. What is, what is that? What is that? What is, A, why is it a clown? B, why does it have weird bulging veins all over it? That is creepy. I don't want vascularity on my Pokemon. I'm sorry. Timber is fine. Timber has all the unfortunate, like, characteristics of, like, you see where it's going to be, like, what it's be going to become, right? It's like a little smaller kid version of it. They they translated the elements from each one well, but, like, this this I'm okay with. The others I'm not. I would delete that. I would delete that. <clears throat> I don't even necessarily hate the old man part of it, but yeah. Archaeops is cool, but held back by a bad ability. Yeah, it is. Sorry, I'm a little behind on chat. Personally, really hate Galar Articuno. Really? I thought those were kind of cool. They, I felt they did them justice. I like that the Articuno one's like a purple psychic-y type thing, right? Let me find it. Would it have been here? Did I skip it? I skipped it, right? I definitely skipped it. Oh, it's because it's in Gen 1, sorry. This, I'm fine with this thing. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know. I have no complaints with that one. And the other two, they did well too. I like that Zapdos turns into this weird like dodo bird running across the plains lightning fast. That's cool. I'm good with that. Do you hate Undertale for copying your sense of humor? Do you think I actually have Undertale sense of humor? Oh no, that's not good. I don't think that's good. <laughs> I hate Undertale, sorry. I don't like it. Well, to be fair, <clears throat> I've harshly judged it because I hate the graphics of it. I think the in battle part where it's black and white is like very creative. The, the way the battle works, I think was, was very innovative. I will give him that. But outside of that, it looks like the worst RPG maker made video game made by a 10 year old I've ever seen. And I hate that about it. I really do. I've made better looking games in RPG maker. Sorry. Um, Minecraft mob vote. Palm on his baby, how dare you. <laughs> He's got a sweet little baby face. Exactly. Palmot looks like a small kid that got blasted and turned into a Pokemon. That is a... That is an abomination. 
Did you see Flamingo? It's literally just a Flamingo. Yeah, I know that one exists. I think it's a little boring, but it's like not, it's not hate worthy. It's just boring. Like they should have done something with it. They did nothing with it. I don't get it. I like to Titan. I like Veluza too. I don't think it's very good though. That thing's cool. I think it's typing is bad, right? You take that back now. Tier list time. All right. Let's, I hope they, they definitely have one, right? Tier list maker. Wow, I got a virus threat from this website. That's that's amazing. Every Pokemon, all Pokemon. Is it actually? Oh boy. We would I would, you know, not do the weird doubles, but that is all of them. Okay, cool. Alright, we gotta make some tiers then. We gotta arrange this. S is God tier. Can you see this? Yeah. God tier. Love it. Like it. Neutral. Dislike. I, I think we need to go with fewer. Yeah. Let's just go. Wood delete immediately <laughs> right that is does that work dislike yeah neutral is like does nothing for me like it's like okay love it is like almost top tier s is god tier right i i think that works i think that works let's get started then shall we uh as for the starters i quite like Charizard. I think there's been a lot of Charizard pandering, which has made Charizard worse. Um, like, it's more annoying in retrospect. I would say, like, I, I like all three of the classic starters. Um, Venusaur, I feel, is really underrated. I, I think Venusaur's got a really cool design. I love the flower on its back. Um, am, I, am I really gonna do, like, all of these? These are fine. These are fine. Uh, War Turtle's like a, a little weird. I think I'm, I'm neutral on that one. I guess Charmeleon's kind of boring. Charmeleon's kind of boring. I'm putting it in neutral. Ivysaur is fine. Sometimes the color is cooler with Ivysaur. That helps me like it. Um, Caterpie's fine. I like Caterpie. Metapod always upset me as a kid because... I thought that it was the other way around. Like Metapod's face is over here, right? On the on this left side. You can see my mouse, right? Yeah, you can. Um, I thought that its face though, as a kid, I thought this was its nose and that this was like its chin and it was like a crescent moon face type deal. Cause I think like back in the day, the original Sugimori artwork for Metapod or um, yeah, Metapod. I feel like the original artwork was a different way before it was like this side of it. It was like, it seemed to me like back in the day, even they didn't know which side was its actual face. I don't think they would have old designs on here though, would they? Anyway, not to sidetrack too much, but Metapod's okay. Yeah, I'm going to put neutral on that one. Butterfree, I think is a little boring. Weedle. I'm I'm glad it exists with Caterpie, but I, I don't really like it. Kakuna is interesting, I guess, and Beedrill's okay. Pidgey is boring but necessary. Pidgeotto is boring. Pidgeot I like. It's it's hard. I actually I liked what they did with the Mega Evo of it, but um. I, I like Pidgeot. It's a little plain. Rattata is fine. I've just seen, too, seen it too many times. Raticate's fine. 
Spiro and Firo. I'm going to say dislike for these two. I just think uh, they're like neutral. I don't know. I just, again, feel like they're kind of boring. This will take an hour. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll try to go fast. I might change some of these. I want to like those two, but I just don't. Sorry. And Pikachu is okay. Pikachu is fine. Ekans. I like the color of Ekans. Arbok's fine. Sandshrew is a little boring. I do like the Alolan Sandshrew. I'm going to say neutral. I actually quite like Nido King and Nido Queen, actually. I'm going to put those up there. Um, I, I think these are like it. Status. It's funny, as a kid, I didn't really like Gen 1 all that much, because uh, I just feel like the sprites for them in the older games look kind of horrible. And I didn't really gel with them. But when, like, Pokemon Go came out, basically, I got a really ref um, refined new appreciation for um, the classics so much better. Because they actually, like, saturated the colors and made them look more appealing and stuff. Clefairy, I like... The fable's a little odd to me. Sand Slasher just feels kind of boring. Like, again, it just doesn't do much for me. Bullpix is fine. Ninetales is fine. Uh, Jigglypuff's fine. Wigglytuff is a little... Like, I feel like the Clefable and Wigglytuff, those Evos are, are just... Eh. Not, not really my thing, I guess. Zubat's boring. But it's okay. Golbat, same deal. This list sucks, though. I hate that these things are here at the top. I don't want to have to scroll. Gen 1 was alright, but not worth replaying at all. Yeah, I think it's hard to go back at this point. I liked Paris a lot as a kid. I'm not going to put it in love it. Paris sect is creepy, but it's like supposed to be creepy. Uh, why are... Oh, we have... Why do we have the gender differences, too? That's just so much bloat. Oddish is boring, but I kind of like it. Like, I'm kind of glad that exists. Uh, Gloom. Gloom is fine. Fileplume is fine. They're they're boring too, but I appreciate them more for some reason. Venonat is ugly and gross, and I don't like it. Venomoth, I'm neutral on. Diglett, I don't like. I like Diglett for the memes, but as a Pokemon and as an evolution, I think this is boring and, and, and dumb. Meowth is I don't care either way if it were to get deleted Psyduck I'm, I guess I'm fine with Golduck is a little boring Mankey I didn't like as a kid but I'm neutral Primeape is okay Growlithe and Arcanine I definitely like and I really loved Poliwhirl as a kid I like Poliwag a lot too Holly Wrath, I think, is a little more boring, but it's fine. I think it looks like a turd coming out of a butthole. That's interesting. Okay. Abracadabra, Alakazam. I like those. Oh, it's Kadabra. Nothing wrong with those. In fact, I'm going to put Alakazam to love it. That was a cool classic Pokemon. Um, these are fine. I keep missing middle Evos. Machoke I actually really liked as a kid. In some ways, I think Machoke is cooler than Machamp. But I have a newfound appreciation for uh, Machamp as well. Bellsprout... Is... It's okay. I kind of like it. I want to, like... Do I just put these with each... This is just going to clog my tears. Like, I wish I could just... Can I delete these? This is going to be complicated. This might screw up my whole tier list if I mess with that wrong, though. Alright, you know what? I'm going to add another one. Extra junk. But that doesn't really help me because this is just going to keep expanding. <laughs> Doesn't help me at all. I guess I could rate like the, the Mega Evos and stuff, but 
typically I'm okay with them. I might I might put certain Mega Evos in there in like the garbage tier. I don't like I really I don't want to do the forms though. Oh, I didn't do Raichu. I like Raichu. I think I think it's really unfortunate that Pikachu has an evolution at all because nobody cares about Raichu. Polyworld's awesome. I agree. I have a shiny Tinkaton named Hilda and Violet. It's just Hilda with her hero relic. That's awesome, Lunar. Watch Stevie put Hypno and Drowsy in S tier. No. I wouldn't do that. I just really wish this wasn't clogging up this list, but it's too late now. I've already committed. I've started. Shelder? Shelder, dude, I think is God tier for me. I know that's probably a weird pick, but... There's something so simplistic and iconic about its design and its color. Oh, it's so good. And I really like Cloyster too. Cloyster, I would put up there, but I, I think I'm going to put it in the love it tier because I hate the comparison between it and lady parts. And I completely understand why people do it, but it kind of ruins it for me. But Cloyster is definitely one of my favorites. Geodude, um, I'm kind of neutral on. Graveler's okay. Golem I kind of like. I don't really get the progression. Like that's a, that's a really weird old school one where it's like, why does it become like a snake headed creature after being a rock face for the whole time? But it is what it is, I guess. Tentacool, Antenna Cruel. I guess I like them. They're kind of boring, but when they're like, they, they can be cool looking. They just been have, have been boring looking a lot. Shelter and S, interesting. <laughs> I never said this was going to be a normal tier list. Like that other people would really agree with this. New Ponyta and Rapidash. They don't they do not do a lot for me. Maybe Rapidash is like light tier. I, I don't know. It's just one of those gen ones that like... I would probably forget about. <laughs> if I was... If I had to name off every gen one Pokemon, I would probably forget Ponyta. Slowpoke. I like Slowpoke. I like Slowbro. Magnemite I like. Magneton I like. Even though I, I called it Magneton for years, but I think it's supposed to be ton because it's a ton of them. The names, man. Oh, and it, like, like Machamp, right? It's probably supposed to be Macho. So it would be Machamp. Machoke. There's definitely a lot of names that I've never said properly and probably most people to be fair grimer i actually like and muck i like for some reason doduo i don't really like i don't really like this line if i'm being honest oh i did bell sprout and I didn't do these guys weeping bell is creepy and ugly but it's fine in the progression it's i'm okay with those ghastly I like. Haunter, I like. Gengar, I definitely love. Gengar, Gengar. I agree with the common sentiment that Gengar is pretty awesome. Um, Onyx, I actually really like. I probably should have had another tier, but I'm just going to put it in like it. But the thing is, like, I hate how garbage it is. Like, it's never been good. It probably never will be good, and that upsets me greatly. I don't, I don't think he deserved that treatment. Seal and Dugong uh, are just kind of neutral to me. They're, they're just boring. They're It's fine that they're there, but I don't love them in particular. I, I like Farfetch'd, I guess. Uh, Drowsy and Hypno. I'm neutral on. I'm, I'm kind of happy that they're there, but they don't do a lot for me either. Krabby and Kingler. I like. I like Krabs. Voltorb and Electrode, don't really care either way. Actually, I kind of like Electrode. Uh, Execute, I like it. I really like Executor for some reason. No, I didn't like it as a kid, but there's something about it. It's got it's got the palm tree vibe or something, and it's kind of weird, and I like it for that specifically. Um, Cubone and Marowak. I think Marowak's a little bit boring of an evolution. 
Just a little bit. Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. I like. I think I like Chan a little bit more than Lee. I'm also not really arranging these based on like favorite at the top. Maybe I should do that later. Um, if I could do it quickly enough. Coughing and wheezing are some of my all-time favorites. These are in love at tier for sure. I know that's a weird opinion too, but I just really liked wheezing as a kid when James had it in, in the Pokemon anime. I thought it was sick. I like Chansey. I got these. Lickitung, I'm neutral on. It's kind of weird. Rhydon, Rhyhorn, I like. I, I think... I think Rhydon, I actually, I'm going to put it in Levitt tier. I think he's really grown on me. Tangela, I also quite like. Tangascon, I like. Seedra, uh, Horsey and Seedra, I like. Goldeen and Sea King. I'm neutral. Star you, star me. I, you know, if I was to put star me somewhere, I, I quite like star me. It's just a little creepy. Like, what is it? I'll never forget Rocky the Onyx. Mecha has influenced you in what way? What do you mean? Scyther, I like a lot. Is it like God tier for me? I don't know, but it's definitely like up here probably. What's up, Lena? We're doing a tier list right now. Jinx. I like Jinx a lot more than I should like Jinx, I guess is, is all I'll say. <laughs> like it's sad that that Pokemon has such a tainted history. Um, Magmar and Electabuzz I also kind of like. Pinsir was one of my favorites as a kid. I have like a core memory of Pokemon Gold and Silver um, trying to get it in the Safari. You know what? Let's I'll put these two up there. I think that they're they're like compatriots. They belong there. But yeah, I really liked the um, what was it? Like every Saturday and some other day of the week at the Goldenrod Thing north of the city they used to do the the bug catching thing i loved that as a kid man i love that uh magikarp is is fine i like it gyarados i like it a lot I, I don't know that i love it but it's definitely like up there for me um lapras i'm gonna put lapras and love it that's you know what it's gonna put the bottom of love it are the ones I, I quite like. Articuno, I really like. I'm going to put it in Love It tier. I don't think it's quite like an S tier design to me, but I, I really like it. Ditto, I think is good. You know what? I think I love Ditto. Ditto's cool. Eevee, I love Eevee. This scrolling pains me, but it must be what it must be. Porygon, I know I'm going out of order a little bit here, but Porygon, Porygon's cool. I don't like Porygon's evolutions as much, but I like Porygon. Um, the three evolutions, I'm just putting them there to hold them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I really like Vaporeon. I really like Jolteon, although it was a really horrible Pokemon in the original games, and I like Flareon. It's What's up, Alan? Too reckless. So PokeBank is not forever. Yeah, eventually they're gonna shut down the server for it. At least that's what they seem to claim. I think when they talked about the 3DS online shutdown, they said that the, those services would remain for the time being. So if you do want to transfer something, and and I, we don't know if that means a month from now, a week from now, six months from now, a year from now. We don't. We just don't know. So if there's Pokemon you want to transfer up, I would definitely get that in line now. Um, yeah. Sucks Porygon's the forgotten one now. Yeah, I feel like Porygon should have been one of those Pokemon that, like, you just gave it different, po like, Porygon items or something, and, like, it was just still the base form, but was competitive, right? I don't know. I get that, like, they wanted to add, like, the Z-axis stuff. Like, I get what they did with it. I just don't think the other ones are as bizarre and cool as, as the original. Um, Mr. Mime? I don't, I don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like Mr. Mime. Did I miss anything up in this chunk? No, I don't think so. Um, 
Original fossil Pokemon. I like Ammonite a lot. I'm a star. I also kind of like a lot. It's like a little weird in comparison. Um, Kabuto, Kabuto, and Kabutops. I like a lot too. I think those are both cool. Praise the praise Helix. Am I right, fellas? Snorlax is like a little boring to me, but I like it. It's fine. Aerodactyl. I actually think I like Aerodactyl quite a bit. And the birds. I like Zapdos and Moltres. I really like Articuno. I think that's how that works for me. Wrapping up Gen 1, I really like Dratini. And Dragonite's definitely one of my favorites. Dragonair is fine. There's that uh, Pokemon theory, right? That like Gyarados might have originally been the evolution of, of uh, Dratini, right? Like they might have switched some stuff around here. I forget why they specifically said that about those two, but it's kind of like the whole um, <sighs> Venomoth Butterfree debate where there's like some design elements left over that kind of look like Venomoth might have been Butterfree, the original evolution of Caterpie or something. Snorlax is top for me, says Deep Freeze, yeah. He's okay. Maybe he's he's definitely like higher in this tier for me, but I don't know where exactly. Um, Mewtwo is fine. Mewtwo, Mewtwo and Mew. I'm glad they exist, but they don't like rock my socks off or anything. Those two. Into Gen 2, right? Did I miss anything here? I don't think so. Chikorita? I like Chikorita. Um... Bayleaf? I'm gonna I'm gonna put Bayleaf in Love It tier actually. I, I can really like quite like Bay, quite like Bayleaf. Um and Meganium, I actually have a fondness for. I don't like how it's not a very good Pokemon competitively, but I think it's fine. It's cool. Um Cyndaquil, Quilava, Typhlosion. Typhlosion's definitely in Love It tier for sure. I don't know if it's in Here's the deal. It's not in God tier and S tier for me because I generally agree with the sentiment that Typhlosion is awesome. But it's not in S tier because they have ruined it too many times by not making the flames permanent in battle. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with that. I, I get that you want it to like, when it attacks, the fire's coming out like it's more vicious, right? But then it's so boring looking whenever it's not attacking. And the design sucks when it's not attacking. So what they should have done is just made the flames like get bigger or something when it attacks. They might have even fixed that in, in more modern Pokemon. I, I don't know, but there was a long period of time when it went to 3D when it was just boring. Um, and I actually quite like the, the Johto starters. I think I like all of these. I've, I've done playthroughs with each of them probably multiple times as a kid. Um, I actually think I like Croconaw more than I like Feraligatr, if I'm being honest. I think Cyndaquil is cool. Kulab is kind of boring to me. Is this what the stream turned into a Pokemon tier list? Yeah, well, we were basically, people were asking my opinion on designs and stuff, so this is what it turned into. Let me let me see if I can go faster, though, because we there's... Oh, my God. I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. What I don't like is they added all these forms and crap at the top here, which makes it extremely confusing. I should have started with a more simplified list, but I've already committed. Letty Ba and Letty In. I'm kind of neutral on Letty Ba. Letty In is okay, I, I guess. I'm glad there's a Ladybug Pokemon, but it doesn't do a lot. Spin Rack, I like. I kind of just wish these were all by default in the bottom tier and I could just bring them up. A shorter distance. Where is Ariados? You're making a mess. You're done. You are done. Yeah, apparently. I like Ariados a lot, actually. I like that one probably more than I should. Um, Crobat, I kind of like too. That's a good one. Lantern, Chinchow. I gotta be honest. I don't like. I don't like Chinchow. Wow. And. 
I'm neutral. I'm neutral on these baby Pokemon. Uh, I like Togepi. The baby Pokemon didn't really add very much, and, and they always had, like, annoying conditions to get, at least early on. Um, so they just didn't... It didn't really expand things in the way that you would hope. I like Sudowoodo. It is a weird one, but I like it. Um, Togi... What is it? Togetic. Togetic is okay. I guess it could go there. Pichu I like a lot. I might like Pichu more than Pikachu, to be honest. Natu and Zatu. I feel like these I'm always like so mixed on. Because they're so like cool conceptually, but they're also kind of boring. I, there's something... Maybe it's the way that they've looked in a lot of the games or something. I'm going to put them like... They're definitely in like it tier. I wish they were better, but they are what they are. Mareep, Flaffy, Ampharos. Um, I really liked Ampharos as a kid. I also quite like Flaffy. I think I these are like it. I think I, think I like Flaffy more than Ampharos. I don't know. I don't know. That, that one's tough for me. Uh, Wabafet. I'm skipping ahead a little bit here, but Wabafet. Um, I don't like that Pokemon. <laughs> I don't like that Pokemon at all. Wooper. It's like bottom of neutral. It's like fine. Quag Quagsire. I don't like. Sorry. Politoed is fine. To me. Blossom is fine. Um, Sentret, Furret, Hoot Hoot, Noctowl. I like Hoot Hoot a lot. Although the, the fact that it hides one leg or like puts one leg behind it or puts its feet together or whatever it does and it has like one leg then it turns into two, I always thought was really weird. Like it always confused me why in some artwork it only had one leg and in other artwork it had two legs. Uh, these I'm kind of neutral on. Meryl, Azumarill. Um, I remember back in the day when people saw Meryl in some kind of Pokemon preview and called it Pika Blue. I guess that's how old I am, but uh, these are fine. Umbreon, I really like. You could probably tell I had some Umbreons in those boxes. Umbreon's up there. I even like Espeon. I didn't like it as much as a kid as Umbreon, but I think I think they kind of go hand in hand. Those are cool. I like what they've done with them. Um, Hopip, Jumpluff, Skiploom, or whatever. I'm going to say like it for that one. Neutral. Neutral. Apom. I'm kind of neutral on. It's a little odd. Sun Kern, I think, has a really cool design. Sun Flora is boring. I, I quite dislike Sun Flora. I don't think that's a hot take at all. I think most people would probably agree with that. Uh, the unknowns. I'm glad they exist. I wish there was more of a point to them. I'm going to put it in like it tier. I liked the unknown ruins. They were really creepy and mysterious to me as a kid playing the game. And I like Murkrow. Slow King. I'm neutral on. I, I think I think Burrow is cooler. Mischievous doesn't do much for me but it's it's like like it tier i don't hate it giraffe rig is also okay not a bad one this is definitely not what i would call gaming <laughs> oh i'm a little i kind of overcommitted. i'm a little uh in over my head i think we're on gen 2 of like nine should i not be doing this should i skip ahead to controversial ones I feel like I kind of mentioned them already. I don't like this thing. I would delete this thing. Scroll up, scroll up, please. I'm gonna skip ahead a little. I don't think I'm gonna go through every single Pokemon. It's gonna take hours. I would delete that immediately. Maybe, maybe the the um, the fruits of this tier list, and, and this is this is God tier. Sorry. 
I know this entire stream has pandered to Raikou the whole time, but I, I'm i shameless and I'm not apologizing for that. Suicune, I also really like. That's definitely Love It tier for me. I really like the Legendary Beasts. Those are, that's my favorite trio for sure. In fact, that's definitely Love It tier. Entei is probably my least favorite, but there's nothing really wrong with Entei. Um... Why would you not only subject yourself to this, but also your viewers? I don't know. People were asking me a lot of questions about designs and stuff, and I asked, and people said yes. So, it's what I said. Hated stuff. I, I think I think the hated stuff will give you the juicy drama that you want from me. <laughs> what do I hate? I hate Swalot. Gulpin and Swalot. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna say I dislike Swalot. I'm gonna say I would delete Gulpin. This is just the most boring nothing Pokemon imaginable to me. I would delete that Pokemon. If I had if I was in control of the Pokemon company for a day, these are the Pokemon that I would delete immediately. Cricket Tunes kind of creepy. I like actively dislike that Pokemon. I I get what they were going for, even with the mustache, but I don't think it really worked. What the? What are we playing? XCOM? <laughs> we're not playing XCOM. I've oftentimes coped. I'm coping. Bruh. Okay, you're just spamming me now, Elvia. Gulping these nuts. Beasts were a jerk to catch in Gen 2. That's what made them fun, though. I kind of liked them. Specifically for that. What do I actively hate? What? What needs to be deleted? Sorry, it's not working on my browser screen. Uh... I don't like this thing. I would delete this thing. It's another one where I understand what they were going for, but it's just weird. I don't need to see a tied up legs octopus brawler, man. That's not the my main goal in deletion. Like that's at the bottom of my deletion list, but it's probably in there. Beware, I think is kind of disappointing. I think if you're going to have a red panda Pokemon, they could have done better things with it. I don't know why half of its body is just all black with like such a severe line cutting it. Like, why is that like that? I'm fine with the, the black and pink is cool. Like, I'm not going to lie, but the execution, I think, leaves something to be desired for me for that one. Are we having fun with these? Yeah, least favorites. Um, that's what I'm going for now. Um, so in which case, we need to go to Gen 5 and find these hideous abominations known as the genies. These I would delete immediately with no remorse. I'm not even going to apologize if this is your favorite Pokemon. I don't care, sorry. They, they, I would have allowed them to create one of those. One. But doing that and then giving them multiple forms is sick. Sick and disgusting. Uh, those are probably like near the top of that list. I think Amoongus is definitely one I would delete. Like I mentioned earlier. It has a creepy little beak and it's a mushroom. It's fine if that if it's a mushroom, but why does it have a beak? And it's got that like pseudo fake Pokeball thing, but that makes no sense. Is it is its head the exact size of a normal Pokeball item thing to trick a trainer? Because it doesn't look like it. It looks like it has a big head. Um I think this thing is is disappointing. I think it's really disappointing. I don't I don't I wouldn't delete it immediately, but that one was a disappointing Pokemon to me. They just took it nowhere. Um, What are some really controversial ones? 
We spoke a little bit about them. But like controversial ones, I would actually delete. I, I don't like this thing. I get that it's a king or whatever, but I don't like it. Halifin, I find incredibly creepy. It, it has like the Arthur hero vibes, right? But there's something I don't like about it. I, it's not, I guess I wouldn't delete that one though. I would, however, delete. Deleting this thing would be harsh, I think. I put the the coin form of Gimme Ghoul in there. I don't I don't care if the Pokemon has like the chest, I guess, but I don't like that Pokemon. What it turns into is fine in my eyes. Uh the Dunsparce, uh, it's just a meme, I guess, so it's not I don't find it incredibly offensive. I would delete this thing. This thing should not exist. This this is an abomination. What else? What else would I delete with a fiery passion? Um, uh, this one, this one, I would delete with the fiery passion. I, I, if you wanted to put boils on a toad or whatever, that's one thing. But then even like, what is it, Palpitoad or Seismitoad, whichever one is the final Evo of it. It's like boils are weirdly uneven on its head. Like, like I guess that's that. One, that one's just in dislike. Wow, this is Because it's really like terrible. almost okay. Yeah. What's up, Wildcat? There's a fourth genie in Legends Arceus. I know, and it's also a hideous abomination, isn't it? It's like a loved one, isn't it? Yeah, it's this thing. It's better than the others, because at least it has like a little bit more variety to it, but this? This I would delete immediately. What is this? I know this is its, its Therian form, or whatever the hell they called it, but that, no thanks. Don't want. Return to sender. Are there any Gen 2 Pokemon I would actually delete? I suppose not. And I quite like Gen 3 on the whole as well. Obviously, I put Gulpin in there. Um, yeah, these are fine. Gen 4. Um, Magnezone I don't love, but it's not like instant deletion for me. It's not deletion on site. Arceus is fine. I think they kind of like... What's the word? Blew their load a little too fast with, with Pokemon by creating the God Pokemon. Because now the end of every single new dex is always, I find, kind of disappointing by comparison. Because what's more like mysterious and surprising than having a God Pokemon, right? Since then, I just feel like they've kind of floundered a little bit with, with the legendaries at the end of the dex. There are some good ones. I'm not saying there's not good ones, but I think adding God in Gen 4 was a little bit of a mistake. Maybe he should have just been like a rumor for like a lot of games or something. Um, Gen 6. Gen 5. I know people, I mentioned it earlier, but I know people probably put Trubbish and Garbodor on there. I would not. I'm actually okay with those, and I actually do like the ice cream Pokemon, like Vanalux as well. Um, you know what? I would put this thing up for deletion. Darmaka, I don't like you. Darmanitan, also don't like. I think I'm slightly better with the Afro Weird Snowman one, but... And this is definitely way better than Darmaka. And I actually like the Ice Darmaka better. But there's something about this weird little thing. It's too... It, it, I don't like it. Uh, Rotom's fine. 
These these legendaries, the um joke. <laughs> the wisdom trio or whatever they are, I, I think they're incredibly boring, especially their their bodies that are all like the same color. But I wouldn't immediately delete them, I guess. I don't like that Chirim has its closed stage. Like, I think it just should be this, like these two. I think this sucks. At least they could have given it a face. I, I guess, I don't know if that's supposed to be a closed eye at the bottom, but it's not obvious enough for me that that's a face. Whatever, whatever this is, I don't really like that. The snails are okay, if not a little bit boring. Burmy kind of sucks, but I wouldn't delete it on sight. I think we got to keep going. Conk Elder. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna say Timber. Timber I would delete. I don't like the veins. I think it's creepy. I don't know why it's a clown. Disrespecting them. Uh, construction workers. That's what I think. It's a conspiracy. These are okay. I put Timber Evos to deletion. They're disgusting to look at and a cheap imitation of what the Machamp line did. That is fair. That is fair, Lunar. I kind of... Please, for the love of Arceus, delete Palkia's origin form. Oh, I know what you're saying. This thing? I don't actually hate it. I don't actually hate it, but yeah, I know what you're, go what you're getting at with that one. It is... It's a little weird they did that. I, I think... Uh, yeah, I think that one's kind of questionable. These are okay. Gen 5 on the whole is, is fine. There's some like uninspired. Oh, Clink Clang, I would delete in a heartbeat. I would delete the Clink Evos. I like, I actually like Clink a lot. Like I do. I just think that they didn't know what to do with its Evo and uh, they ruined it. I'm not going to bother finding the other one. You get the drift. Um, Buffalot's fine. These are okay. This thing is weird. I like what it turns into better than it. It's just strange looking to me. It's like a weird dog with a headband, but it's a lizard. Um, this this thing I think I would delete. I, I think I think this was a case of Pokemon going too far. I would delete that Hoopa thing. Hoopa Unbound or whatever it is. I don't like that. Clefki, I really like. I know that's always on the short list of stupid Pokemon designs, but I actually kind of like that Pokemon a lot. Dupider, delete. Mentioned this earlier too, but delete for sure. Right? Are these not some of the ugliest? Like, have I not assembled some of the ugliest, stupidest Pokemon in here so far? Are my takes valid? Tell me my takes are valid. Uh, hello, Mize. I actively dislike. Uh, good night, Kai, if you're heading to bed. Enamorous could just not exist, and I wouldn't even think anything. They were fine simply as forces of nature. Adding Enamorous and trying to force a season's theme feels whack. What What is Enamorous? What does love have to do with the other ones? Yeah. What is love? <laughs> um, Salazzle's fine. Gumshoes. Gumshoes I don't like, but... I wouldn't delete it. Minior. Minior's god tier. I really like Minior. Yeah, I've, I've kind of neglected god tier. I also think Absol belongs up there. That's not a hot take at all, though. Absol's a really popular Pokemon. I'm actually surprised they've not done more with Absol. Being completely honest. Seems like a missed opportunity to me. I know it got a Mega, but... Alright, Galar region. There's gotta be something I would delete out of it. Actually, there definitely is. 
Sorry, Cinderace. Yeah, we're, we're approaching Pokemon that are a little too close to human for me, and human soccer player wearing soccer shorts and clothes. I could do without. I could do without that one. <laughs> static? We're getting static, sorry. Didn't know that. Sobble's evolved form to internet this time. I hope that we're back. But I cannot tell currently. What the? What are we playing? XCOM? We're back. All right. Sorry, people. I think when I restarted the. Uh, Pop. <laughs> I think when I restarted the DS um, capture program, it freaked out OBS. Um, we should let's let's wrap this up as as fast as I can though. What else would I delete from this? I forgot this Ursaring thing existed. What even? What even is that? Um, I'm actually okay with Wiglet. I don't. <sighs> Okay, here's a hot take I have not shared yet. I really don't like what they did to uh, the fire starter of the newest generation. I know this is not the final form. I think Skella Dirge is interesting, but I don't I don't get the whole thing with the little fire bird on its nose. Um, and it looks like a clown with like a keyboard nose and. I, bare minimum, I actively dislike it. I don't like its bald head and its weird clown sideburns of fire. It, it evokes clown vibes to me and I don't like it. I would delete this stupid thing too. This is, this is up for deletion. Really hate that timber Pokemon from the Galar region. What's timber from Galar? This is Galar. What's the... Looks cool, come on. Skeledurge? I'm not saying it doesn't... Totally... It doesn't not look cool at all. I just don't like some elements of it. For sure. What, what's the timber Pokemon of this gen? Not sure what you mean, Wildcat. Yeah, Timber's from, from Unova, but I, maybe I misunderstood Wildcat's comment. I thought Wildcat was inferring that there was a Tinder, a Timber-esque Pokemon in Galar. I don't know. The Ultra Beasts are weird. I wouldn't delete them. I do think they're a weird step for Pokemon, and I don't know why we needed a, a buff Mosquito Man. I think maybe that one would grow on me more. I like I like Cartana or whatever it is, um, and I actually like this Electrical Cable Dude Man. Um, they're they're okay. They're weird, but they're okay. I'm I'm fine with that existing. Um, I actually like Pincurchin a lot for some reason. I would probably delete this more Pico, Pico failed Pikachu abortion. Sorry. Whatever that thing has going on, I don't I don't want any part of it. Ultra Beasts are meant to be weird. They are, but I just remember my initial reaction to them when they first got announced and were starting to be shown. I was like, whoa, like it would mm. Maybe it's an aversion to change, but they just felt like too much of a departure for me. And I get that that's the point of them. I understand that's the point, but I think they've aged better than my initial reaction to them. Oh, I would delete this thing. Sorry. 
This is just furry bait. I don't care what you say. I don't want any part of that. That didn't need to be there. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you for your taste. I'm saying that if I was in complete control and had the power, I think I would delete that Pokemon. Um... Oh, it, it was just Timber Wildcat, yeah. T timber I like. I don't like its evolutions. I think the weird vascularity of them having weird bulging veins is just creepy. I don't like it. And um, concrete pillars and stuff in their hands and whatnot is just a little odd. Um, Flamigo, I think, is a wasted opportunity, but I wouldn't delete it. Um, a car engine Pokemon, I don't, I don't hate. It's a little strange, but I don't hate it. <clears throat> this thing is probably the closest that I would delete this this um whatever this this Pokemon is but just cause it's design is like it just looks like someone's first 3D modeling project to me and I don't like that vibe of it oh I said I would put Palmot Palmot's getting deleted sorry Palmot and Palmo or whatever the original Pokemon can remain, but these two things, I'm sorry. Actually, here in the art, it doesn't look as bad, but I still don't like it. Again, Paul Mott evokes small child hit with laser beam turned into a Pokemon vibe to me, and I don't like it. <laughs> small, small chubby child turned into Pokemon. No, thank you. Is there anything else I hate with a passion? I actively dislike Scraggy and Scrafty. I, I understand the whole lizard thing, losing its skin thing, and that's got like the hoodlum culture or whatnot, but it just... I just don't know that I know anybody, and I'm sure they're out there, but I just don't know if I know anybody that would point at that thing and say like, that's my favorite Pokemon. I'm sure that person exists, I doubt they have a lot of people in that camp. That's what I'll say about that one. Maybe I'll start doing a final sweep here. Again, I, I would also delete this thing and just keep Clink. I like Clink. I don't like that thing. Cryogonal is a little odd, but it's kind of like the Glalie of that gen, so I'm fine with it. Um, I don't, I don't find a lot of these super offensive anyway. I think Gorgeist is a little bit of a missed opportunity because I thought Phantump was kind of cool and, and it's okay, but for like the, for Pokemon's pumpkin Pokemon, I just think it's a little strange. Like they could have done something a little bit more classic and timely looking. It could have just been actually orange. I don't know. Maybe that would have been boring and uninspired as well, but this thing, I don't hate it enough to immediately delete it, but I don't like it. And I think that's the general sentiment I've experienced with that Pokemon. These are fine. I like uh, Wooloo a lot. I like Mr. Dragon Apple Pie. Forget what his name is. Applin. Uh... Applin, Flapple, and something. So when you guys will correct me on that one. These were okay. I don't really like Mr. Big Head King Man, but I'm not sure that I would immediately delete him. I would probably delete these pig evos. I think they had a home run with the first pig and they just completely whiffed it with those two things. Oh, I would delete this. I would delete this. She nodic. No, no me gusta. No me gusta at all. I hate the squished head of this Pokemon. I would delete this. 
I get that it's like a little nerd. Oh, I didn't even drip. I lost him. He's escaped my wrath. But not for long. There you are. You thought you could get away from me? I don't like that his head is like squished vertically. Like I see where they took a sphere and they just... And it bothers me. When I look at it, the proportions bother me. It's not natural. That was also probably someone's first 3D modeling project. I get that sense a lot with like the Scarlet and Violet. Not all of them, but some of the models are just very basic shapes. Um, and I'm not saying that Pokemon can't be or that they've never been before, but I just... Some of these designs like that... I'm, I'm going to mark this guy. I'm going to mark this guy. I just think this was somebody that was not very good at modeling that created this thing. I, I think this thing existed as a 3D model before it was a drawn design, if that makes sense. I think they messed with like Blender first and were not very good at it. And this is what they made and it sucks. Sorry. I'm fine with the deer thing with a bull on its head. I don't think the execution is there for me with that Pokemon. All right, next. Um, what else offends me? I don't, I don't like mouse hold, but I'm not sure that I would immediately delete it. Um, these are okay. Yeah. That's probably all the truly offensive ones. I think. Right? Have I have I missed anything? I, I don't I don't like this clown ultra beast one, but again, it's not as it's not so offensive that it's immediate deletion. Dupider definitely belongs in the list too. I was just kinda lazy before and didn't come back and grab him. Avalug is boring. You know what? I would delete I would delete Avalug. It's it's another nothing Pokemon. I get that it's an iceberg. They did nothing with it. I don't think it's very cool. It's got like weird horns or something coming out of its face and not in a cool way. Lechonk deserved better. I agree. Appleton. Thank you. Um, shiny Gorgeist is colored like Camilla. It does kind of have a Camilla hair kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? But that's, yeah, I don't know. For a pumpkin Pokemon, I just think I would have expected a little something different. What about Woobat line? I don't I don't hate the Woobat line. Um, I know that's a fairly unpopular one, probably. I'm okay with it. I think for like new Zubat, it's fine. Yeah. I you know what? I would delete the female unpheasant. Again, I understand what they were going for, but I, I think it's boring and I hate it. I think the male one looks really cool with its mask. And I'm I'm very saddened by the fact that it is not a very good Pokemon. But this this thing is cool. Yeah, the, the monkeys. I have a hard time with the monkeys. I, I think these are wasteful designs, but I, I don't think anything is worse than the grass one. <laughs> um... Anything else? Anything else? The Basculin Pokemon are ugly, but they're not so bad, I guess. Uh, any of the starters? Attention, all epic QT 3.14 <laughs> gamers. I bring you an urgent announcement. Pokemon is just too big, and it's going to be over 20,000 of them for when all who played Gen 1 and 2 in their prime are all but gone. I think that's also why they've kind of moved toward like the limited decks thing. And I, I can understand it from that perspective because it is going to be a, an ever growing endless nightmare for them. So I do get that. But with that said, um, I think it's lame that you'd bring up your Pokemon and then not be able to use them in certain games. Imagine you're excited for like the new Pokemon game with new brand new graphics and you just want to bring your Trevenant. Your, your favorite shiny Trevenant into the game, and then you're so excited you, you get it day one because nobody knows anything yet like about what's going to be in the game or not. 
You try to transfer it day one. Bam. Nope. You can't do it. Bare minimum, I, I think, like, an update after the fact should eventually add national decks to every game, right? You have the 3D models for them. Those exist. They can be added retroactively. Just add them. Just do it as an update. If, if you have to wait, like, six, six months or a year after the game releases, just do it. Just do it. Just make it compatible with everything eventually. I wouldn't mind the wait, personally. But they're not going to do that. So enjoy your handcrafted, selected handful of 300 or whatever each time. I think I think this upside down head fossil abomination is in fact an abomination and I would delete it. It's this thing has got to be in constant pain and suffering. Its face is upside down. It reminds me of the guy from Full Metal Alchemist. What was his name? The crazy scientist man. Shout Tucker. Before before I even before I even got there, it came to me. Shout Tucker, yeah. Pokemon's a logistical nightmare. It is, yeah. I think I think this is it. Any any other takes that I would have that you might find spicy or interesting are probably more starter related, maybe, in terms of how poor the the evolutions are that I would rate them. And we could talk about that if you want, but for the most part, would delete immediately. This thing I don't like. It's weird antennae that are like dowsing rods. Like I get it. I just think it looks stupid. I don't like it. Gulpin's a horrible Pokemon. I don't need wrestling octopus in my life. I hate the genies. One can exist and not be good competitively. If they made it horrible competitively, I would be much nicer to it. I hate that Landorus T is a thing. I don't like it. Um, I, I think I think they have terrible designs. They, if they were gonna have like genie gods, right? Representing the elements in Pokemon, why would they not just be like Raikou, Entei, and Suicune? You already had really cool embodiments of the elements, basically. You could maybe even add another one or something later. I don't know, but I hate those things. Amoongus has a weird beak, and it's a mushroom, and it's a Pokeball ripoff clone thing. I don't like it. Whatever this thing is, I don't know the name. Um, Knackle Stack or something. Uh, it, it looks like a creepy Minecraft dog, but with even less poly than Minecraft dogs. Um, that it just It's scary. Palpatode just has boils all over it and a boil mouth, and I hate it. Um, I forget what this thing is already. Ignore something. Don't like it. Darmok is creepy to me. I don't like the veins on the Conch Elder line. I think they're weird, gross, veiny clowns. And um, I'm shocked that didn't stop them from creating it in the first place. I think Clink Clang has horrible, or Clink has horrible evolutions that don't add anything to it. And it's bad. Hoopa Unbound scares me. It's a very freaky, like, crazy looking creature that I do not like. Um, Araquanid. Another creepy one that I don't think should exist. Um, I don't think Pokemon should be getting more and more... Um, what's the word? Human-like. I, I can't think of the word right now, but closer to humans in terms of silhouette. I don't like that we're doing soccer players, wearing shorts, kicking soccer balls. No, thank you. Um, I don't like the evolution of uh, what's-his-face that turns into Skeledurge, the, the new little... The new little croc Pokemon I was excited about, and I, I don't think it lived up to it for me personally. I don't like Simi Sage or whatever, Monkey, uh, more Pico or whatever, I think is probably one of the worst Pikachu clones yet, and it's just weird. This thing, I don't even remember its name, but it's just furry bait to me, and I don't like it. It's it's like another Lucario, but worse. I like Lucario. This thing is, is a step in the, the wrong direction. Paw Mo and Paw Mod or whatever. Uh, yeah, this thing I do not like whatsoever. Uh, Lechonk deserved better. Sheenotic is just creepy. A mushroom Pokemon is fine. I just think they have not done it well. Para Parasect. Paris and Parasect with the mushroom cap were probably as well as they've done it, I think. This thing is just a dork and I want to beat him up in the locker room and squish his head in the locker, but it wouldn't matter because its head is already squished. Uh, this thing, I think, is Baby's first 3D modeling project. This thing is a boring iceberg. This thing is just a boring pheasant. This thing is in constant pain and agony, and I want to put it out of its misery. Bam, done. Darmok is crazy. 
uh, that I put him on this part of the list. Incineroar. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I would be as rude as to just delete Incineroar entirely. But I actively dislike it, and what I would do is I would separate it from... <laughs> if I was in power in the Pokemon company for one day, I would take Incineroar and make it a single form Pokemon. A wrestling Tony the Tiger Cat Pokemon. It now has nothing to do with the Litten line, and I would create a brand new Panther-like Pokemon to be Litten's evolution. That's what I would do it with that one. I, I don't think I would delete it. I don't think I'm mean enough to delete it, delete it. I don't even hate the design enough to delete it. I just think when you see Litten and its middle evolution, and the fact that it's still on all fours, and the fans were just hoping and praying, like, please don't stand up. Please don't stand up. It released. It stands up. It was a deep, deep disappointment for me and many others that day. Diggers, Diggers B, maybe I would delete. It creeps me out with its scooping hands. But yeah, I think I think that's about it for that one. Uh, maybe starter ranking could be a thing for another day. I think I think let's get back to it here. So we were we were talking about Bank though, and uh, it looks it looks like Bank. Bank has the capability to delete your Pokemon, but it also seems like they might, they may, maybe don't do that anymore because you don't have to pay for Bank anymore, right? And the fact that it's now a transfer up service where it goes to home, I would wonder. But either way, I could immediately put it in home, right? So I think maybe we do a little transferring here. Aren't you going to put Arceus in God tier? Um, I mean, that would make sense, yeah. I mean, overall, yeah. I, th there's there's more Pokemon that would have ended up in all of those tiers, but I, I don't think it's worth the three hours that it's going to take going through every single Pokemon in every gen. That was a little... It was a little excessive. Oh, this is not even updating, sorry. It has frozen on me. There we go. Um, so these were just like extra junk Pokemon. This is, yeah, this is not the, the shiny one. But I don't know. You think I should transfer like all the legendaries? So the sad thing is that I, I definitely used to have Pokemon in Pokemon Bank. I don't think I put like anything that amazing in it because I was concerned about them eventually deleting it. I had the paranoia in me from day one. But um, I do think that uh, we should put something in here right now. Maybe, maybe my shiny cloister. That's a shiny trap bench and coughing. We're back, Roy. CV, are you saying you want Anthropomorphic, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune? I do not. No, I want them to say exactly as they are. I just think if you're going to have Pokemon that represent elements, right? Like if, if Raikou... And I don't think they were quite intended like that, right? Like I don't think Raikou was supposed to be the, like the Rai Thunder God, right? But I think it could be. And I think it should be in Pokemon. I think they should have just stuck with those. I think I'm moving up Shiny Shelter. Sucks you don't get to see the Sprite Shiny. I think he's moving up. And you know what? There, I got a couple of these Haxorises. I think a Shiny Haxorus is coming up as well. Um, I actually wonder if I, what's, what Pokemon are allowed into Sword? Because I actually have Pokemon Sword. That is the most modern Pokemon game that I own. 
what Pokemon cannot go from home to sword? Because maybe maybe this affects who I transfer. Because I would feel a lot better. I, I see that home clearly doesn't delete your Pokemon. Um, even if your subscription lapses, at least for now. But I do wonder... I, I would feel a lot less paranoid if I actually was just able to put it in so like sword for now. Since they only go... Once they go to home bank, they can't come back. Unobtainable Pokemon. Yeah, Sword and Shield, unobtainable. Typhlosion? Don't, please don't tell me Raikou is on this list. If Raikou's on this list, I'm going to rage. Oh, he wasn't because we passed it. Yes. What a weird selection of stuff that you can't get. It's a good thing no one showed Stevie the giraffe, Raikou. We talk, I talked about it. I don't hate it as much as you might think. I, sh I probably should hate it more, but I don't. Greninja? I'm not sure if I would transfer up my shiny Greninja, to be honest. Actually, if, if Protean sucks, maybe I put in the other shiny Froakie. If Protean's not good anymore. I don't know what that means, though, in general. Like, okay, so this is not that extensive of a list that can't make it. Minior can't make it? That's a little sad. This isn't so bad, though. So there's a lot of Pokemon I can easily send up. So I think the plan then becomes picking out some of these to send up. Oh, this is the shiny Genesect from an event. I clearly picked that one up. Um, wait, are there two shiny shelters? There's two shiny shelters. Was one breeding fodder? Icicle spear protect clamp rock blast. That was clearly like that has the moves and it has the jolly nature bred onto it. Um, what is this one? Icicle Spear, Rock Blast, Protect Clamp. Jolly. Are they the same? Is that a 5 IV Shiny or a 1 IV Shiny? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these two. One's level 12 with Pokemus. Um, And a Shiny Chess Spin. Oh, this is so painful to like tear apart your file though. Raikou is definitely coming up though. As we have discussed. But the thing is, right? Like, these are all Pokemon that will accompany me into the next generation. So, I think I think this, this box of, uh, where are they? Well, wireless is dead. So, if wireless is dead, the one, the junk and trade boxes of legendaries, these are coming up. How do I select multiple? Or is it really only one at a time? Like you're coming. You still do competitive Pokemon. I have not for a long time, to be honest. Um, I never did it enough to actually be good, I would say. But I've built teams before and played around with it from time to time. I feel like, unfortunately, like, eventually my interest would just fade. Event. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I don't see why I wouldn't have another Mewtwo if this is in my junk drawer. And what is, what is the purpose of these? I deemed these good to some degree. Is that a 6 IV Victini? Or are those empty? What's empty and what's not? I can't tell. The colors change. That's confusing. Well, why is this sitting here? It shouldn't sit here. 
Japanese Litwick. I don't know if these are worthwhile bringing up themselves. Is, is Froxy one that someone gives you? Oh yeah, that's not me. No, those are from Wonder Trading. Junk Trade. The real question becomes, how much do I gut this save file? Would I completely gut it? That seems a little sad. That seems sad. Like, these are a couple legitimate shinies. Is this the, uh, yeah, this is the non Protean Froki that I hatched. I guess he could go. Start button. Oh, to select? Oh, thank you. Maybe some of these can go. Wait. Isn't it the green one? It's the green one, yeah. I remembered that. What's up, Sophie? Shiny Genesect? Why not? I think these guys should come up. Celery, the shiny Caesar, Swagonite. Give me the honor of joining me. Goku, the shiny Lucario. And Jello Shot, the shiny Espeon. I think that's fair. Oh, these guys are also kind of on this list. Let's get these guys too. Shiny Trevenant, why not? Shiny Chansey, why not? Ramen, you should come up. He should come too. Let's let's do um a little bit more, I guess. These guys can come. I just don't think I want to completely gut this. Oh, the Articuno. Do I, do I bring the classic Articuno? Sophie, thank you for the follow. All starters are transferable to Scarlet Violet. Do you always buy the first Pokemon game? Ruby X, Sun Sword, etc. Uh, not particularly. It is, that's quite the coincidence that that happens. Um, I think I have white. And I think... I started with silver, but then I lost my silver cartridge, so I got gold. It's not always the case. Sometimes it's based on the exclusives, if I know beforehand. Other times, I don't know, sword just sounds cooler than shield. I also like, well, first off, I bought sword and shield used, basically. I bought sword used from someone off Facebook Marketplace because I didn't want to pay full price because I was the team hater for that game. I was uh, not stoked once I saw their excuses and the graphics and everything. So I, I tried it. I bought Sword like a year and a half ago. Very late, very late to the game on that one. Let's let's transfer this Japanese Ditto. I don't know if it has the right IVs, but I I think I want to bring the Articuno up. That's painful though, Just taking that off this file. But he's just going to rot here, so. I should probably also... I don't know where this guy came from. He can join us. Do, do I bring the shiny Greninja? I think I got to think long and hard about that one. That's, that's like the main thing I tied to this save file. I spent a lot of hours getting that on this. Even if I didn't have him in a modern setting... I, 
I still think it should be a part of this file, probably. I think um, there's probably a reason that these Pokemon are in here. Suppose I could grab some of these later if I really wanted. Japanese Rotom. I don't know where that came from. Maybe Wonder Trade. A lot of breeding dittos. Which do you tend to pick more often, the red Pokemon games or the blue Pokemon games? I mean, they're not all those colors, so it'd be hard to tell. Uh, I actually think I'm kind of mixed on that. Obviously, blue is definitely my favorite color. So sword makes sense in that way. But I also picked sun for um, Gen 6 or whatever instead of moon. I think I, I, think I liked the, the legendary and sun better. There's always reasons. Probably been a, a big flip flop around that. Oh, my battle box. Do I kill my battle box? I don't. I can't even do it from here. They're gonna be taken out of there. And my events and legends bin. Do I gut this bin? Not yet. Not yet. What? I have to do all that again. There's my 3DS internet. I could do it faster, I guess. I just Google which one has what Pokemon, except when I was a kid, I just got them all. Yeah, it's helpful to know the version exclusives because sometimes I feel like there's a clear choice for me in that sense. Sometimes they're very good at balancing them when you're torn, but... Typically speaking, one I tend to lean to. Yeah, I'm with you, Lunar. Use bank. Use this game. Sorry, we're going to have to do that again, I think. I went with red as it had Mankey in it. It's not the one I would have picked as a kid, but... Uh, actually, there's sometimes when I'm really shocked because I'll think that I know which one is superior in my mind, like in my opinion. Um, and then I'll look back at the exclusives and I'm like, whoa, I didn't have access to that? Well, there's sometimes when I'm wrong too, basically. What is this? I don't know what you're coming with. Articuno, Senor Raikou, am I bringing wishy-washy? I'll think about that. I am bringing a lot of this though. Uh, I'll bring this guy. How could you not like Haxorus, you know? I feel like I'm playing Tetris right now. I should have just grabbed the two above them, too. Definitely grabbing these, I think. And Shiny Chansey, I don't even remember where that's from, so I don't care what file that's on. I got a shelter. I don't know why these are in here. Got the me and Shao. Grab me some. Mm, these don't look. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Grab a nice hone edge. Thing is, I feel like breeding is, is probably also easier now, so I'm not even sure if it's worth bringing, like, breeding fodder up. I don't know. That's what all these dupe boxes are. I mean, they were just 
mods that had good IVs. Maybe even partial breeds. Oh yeah, in the drunk trade bin. Let's uh let's grab most of this probably. A pokey wrist teddy bear, I guess, in case I want to spread that to a different file maybe. This is this is the one that's really going to bake my noggin a little bit. Let's bring the salamence. Do I really want to transfer, like, all of these legends? What, what is the difference between these Celebes? Timid Leafstorm Recover Nasty Plot Healing Wish. From Win 2011. I remember that, that OT. What is this one? This one's OT me. Oh, I caught this one from this file. So you know what? We don't, I don't need the other one. Got plenty of Mewtwo's. I probably caught this one in this file too, didn't I? No, February 2012. Cherish Ball Mewtwo. Psy Strike Shadow Ball or Spear, Elect Spear Electro Ball. The other fear would be I might transfer up some of these and they might have moves that they can no longer move, uh, have anymore, which would uh, make it so that it probably was just better to keep them where they were. Japanese Pikachu. What's up, Krev? So you're sending old Pokemon you've caught up to like Switch games? Sorry, I know little about this. Yeah, so basically because the 3DS online is shut down, there's a, a Pokemon bank app that thankfully I downloaded before that happened. And Pokemon Transporter also I think comes, that takes from black and white to 3DS to bank. And bank, we can send these Pokemon to Pokemon Home, which is the new modern Pokemon bank essentially. And um... And that's the way to get these Pokemon from these games to Switch. Eventually, they're going to shut down Pokemon Bank at some point in time, and then th this path will no longer be available. So if people ever want to bring up these Pokemon from 3DS era, from DS era, now is the time. Anything else that I would want for now? Maybe not. Let's just try to make this work. Save. Work for me. Genesect has to be one of the lamest legendary Pokemon. How come, Jonathan? I mean, it doesn't really do anything. I guess it was it was just like an abused bug science project, right? Or something, and that's what created it. I think it's okay. I think after the likes of Arceus, yeah, it, it's kind of a nothing one, but... It's fine. All right, so those are in there. So now I should be able to transfer to home, right? Let's let's see how this works. I actually wonder, maybe this should end with me booting up sword and transferring some of these to sword. It's a mythical, what I call it, a legendary, whatever. Whatever. You knew what I meant. Yeah, we, we could look at version exclusives. That might be kind of fun to do, too. So move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Seems to be the natural conclusion to this stream, perhaps. Oh, you mean the, the Switch thing? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Okay. Curious. Come on. Yeah, I don't remember Mankey being red exclusive, but that actually makes sense to me because I don't have a lot of memories as a kid catching that. And also, I started with um, silver first before I played red and blue, but then eventually I went and got blue. 
And they shut down the bank while you were looking. It would make sense. It would make sense. Come on. Give me the error. Don't do it. Don't do it. Talk to me, lady. Move to home. Communication with the server was interrupted during your previous session, so the server has been locked. Rude. Rude. How dare you? <laughs> Remind me what's the difference between mythical and legendary Pokemon. Absolutely nothing, jo nothing, Jonathan, but people will correct you. See if he's been banned for cheating at Pokemon Bank. I actually would, would really like to boot up um, Pokemon White version. Or no, maybe I had Black. I forget what I... I might have had Black, but either way, um, I don't know where the cartridge is currently. Hold on. Unless I hid it away in some secret corner of this thing. Here's my uh, a little assortment there. It's not everything, but there's some things. There's like Bravely Second, Bravely Default, Tales of the Abyss, right? Uh, Dream Drop Distance. I actually really like that Kingdom Hearts game. This is a very inter interesting cartridge for DS uh, that allows you to do some very fun things. This is Animal Crossing. New Leaf. But you can see I didn't put a lot of actual DS games in here. You're making um, a I'll mess. Go a second pocket. You're done. Why are you yelling at me? You are done. Failed bank robbery attempt. And I have some other games in this pocket here, but like I got I got Emerald in here. But I don't think I put the other ones. No. Did somebody say Golden Sun? Bravely Default and Second Servers have long shut down before the official shutdowns. I didn't know that, actually. But um, what are you missing out on with that? Because I feel like the castle building day and night cycle thing was... um was just a, a timer, right? Or something? Or could you interact with other people? Maybe. Pokemon 2% black version. <laughs> Let's see if it's been long enough for this thing. Black is the one with the blue eyes, white dragon. I mean, it doesn't really look like that, but sure. I think I, think I like Zekrom more than I like Reshiram. The guys helped you rebuild the town and moon base faster. I hate the way the screen like glitches like that. What is that? Why are you doing this? Why is this service janky? You're scaring me. Okay. Attention, all Fire Emblem, epic, sexy gamers. I bring you an urgent announcement. Pokemon Black and White 2, please. That was the last time Pokemon was 100% good. The problem is I don't know currently where the cartridge is. I clearly have a storage... A, a hidey hole with more DS games somewhere. Because that, that in that bag is obviously not everything I own. Um, let me think for a couple minutes. Let me in. No! This is mean. This is mean. Stop complaining about Cynical. You're cringe for doing so. Why is that cringe? Yeah, it's too late, Roy. Wrecked. Wrecked! Why is that cringe? Because other people have already said it a million times. It's just true. I'm sorry. It's just true. The fire needs to always be there. 
Please wait five to ten business days until Pokemon Bank is back online. Don't give me that. Hello, Choops. The Pokemon I played when I was 12 years old is the last good Pokemon. Nintendo doesn't understand their fan base. We want a dark, gritty Pokemon with guns and Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> he doesn't have to be on fire all the time. It's better when he's when it's not. He's boring. His design is boring when he doesn't have fire coming out of him. Cyndaquil should be like Charmander in the anime where they said, oh, if Charmander's tail ever goes out of fire, it dies. Cyndaquil needs the fire on it at all times. At all times. That is my personal take on that one. Let me see if it's over here on this shelf somewhere. Somewhere. I don't believe so. Oh, you want to see something though? I'll show you something. I didn't even know this was in here. This is not what I meant to show you, but I just found this as well. Guys, I I am a real Pokemon trainer in real life. Can I borrow your Echoes, Amiibos? I want to stream the game and I need ambiance. What does, what does that mean, I need ambiance? What? You can borrow my Echoes, Amiibos if you give them back. What, what kind of friend are you, Choops? Are you the kind of friend that borrows and forgets that you've borrowed? Make Dexter say something? There's no way this battery still works, dude. There's no way. This is circa... 1995, 96, and 98 Nintendo, but that's just the copyright date. This, this is probably like from 1999 or 2000. There's no way this works. Look, just give me your Amiibos, nerd. You have money, troops. You could buy them. It's probably $100 for that two-pack of Almond Celica online now at this point. Maybe more. Listen, nerd, you missed out. But what I do have is a bootleg copy of Binding Blade called Fire Emblem Sword of Seals from Etsy. <laughs> I don't even know if the um, Ferro Electric saving system works on this. Troops knows a lot about that, actually. Oh, but here. There's Crystal. Crystal with the brand new battery in it that I had to put in. I also unfortunately burnt the case because I'm kind of a novice at uh, soldering things. You, can, you can't really tell though, but I made a video about that a long time ago. I, I don't think I put DS games in this in this tin. This is literally just a tin of Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. Oh, you said the word? I remember from your video. Sometimes my memory is pretty good. This is so bad. I hate everything Where about this. Where would I have this. put my other DS games? I feel like there's another one of these things somewhere. Game case holders. I'm not, I'm not sure that I could pull out black and white today. I'd have to go look more somewhere. Sort of seals the original title. It, uh, yeah, but it's not what they would have done had we actually gotten a real cartridge. Troops usually has stuff on the TV as he plays. I know, but I don't. I don't understand. What does that mean? Why does he want my amiibo? Why? Why do you need my amiibo to have ambiance? Pokemon Black is a hundred on eBay, used cart only. The Pokemon games do maintain their value, they do. I'm gonna try this one more time. I asked my dad for a soldering iron when I was younger, and he said I was old enough and every man should have a soldering iron. 
I agree with that sentiment. Is Choops the kind of friend who steals his friend's swimsuit and sells it to the highest bidder? I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I I don't know what you're... This doesn't even work on my hair. I don't even know what you're talking about at all. Also, I didn't steal it. It's called a five-finger discount. <laughs> you have it right next to you? I don't know what to do with it! Until I visit Choops in New York, it's just gonna sit here. It's on, a, it's on another chair. Hung up high, like a flag. Because <laughs> Guidance sucks, so they didn't make much merch for it. Oh, I see. Oh, you, you just want them for your shelf? It's, oh, it's working. It's working. It's working. Send him up, baby. Up to heaven. Send him to heaven. Oh, man. I mean, I got to turn on my switch for this before I do this. Pokemon bank lady kind of bad, though. You are not the first person to say that tonight. And I do not completely disagree. It's getting bright in here. Do I look cool like this? All right, I guess I got to download Pokemon Home on my Switch. Who knew? Who knew this would be so complicated, huh? Stevie Seal swimsuit. <laughs> He's just a Misty with a weird haircut and funky shoes. That's probably true. That's, she seems like that, yeah. She's like adult Misty, though. Which is better, obviously. None of that weird stuff. Gotta remember my password. This better not disconnect from the server while I'm doing this, I swear. Got it in one try, yes. You're transferring them now, no ribbon collecting then. Can I take them back from bank to the game? That's a good call, Lunar. That's a good call. Attention, no cap on God, for real, for real. Like how you just have your handle in the bottom right like we aren't already on your damn stream. Listen, I had nothing to put there. And also, what needs to be next to that are icons for other social media. That's the purpose of that. It's like when people get clipped then, at least you know what people's handles are, right? You've seen all the streamers that have all their handles along the bottom. It's just a lazy slap together effort because I wasn't totally prepared today, okay? You want me to admit it? I'll admit it. Can't transfer them back. I know that, but, but can I do it? Like, they're in bank now. Can I put them back from bank back into the game? Or is that a no-no? Is it too late already? Because it's just one box on top of the other, right? Can I just take it back and drag it back down? Like, if I go through with this, I can't. But... Stevie was too busy making tier lists, he forgot to give his Pokemon ribbons. Home to bank is no. No, no, no I'm not talking about to home. I'm not talking about to home. I'm here. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, how do I go back? Get me out of this. Get me out of this. I can't go home. Just forget it. I bought them both for 24 bucks. You bought them, did you buy them used? Those are pretty rare at this point. Uh, I still, I'm still gonna visit you though. Whether you consent or not.
Put credit card info instead of handle. Easy. I'm sure Nintendo and the chat would love that. Like you were going to give them back in a timely manner. It's true. They would they would collect dust on your shelf. I'd never see them again. I would want to play Echoes and scan them, and I'd never be able to. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. I think that's a great idea, Lunar. I think we should spend the next little bit here uh, trying to get some ribbons for them. Let me remind myself once again what ribbons we're looking at potentially here. So we are looking at Kalos for this one. They even show Raikou in the picture. It is so meant to be. It is so... We're so back. We're so back. Okay. Um... Obtained when transferred to bank with contest and battle tower ribbons from Gen 3 or 4. That we obviously cannot get with this Raikou. Kalos Champion ribbon. Um, I don't think the Raikou had that. Maybe oh, we beat no, the Elite Four. Wife, oh. Right quick. That might actually be harder than it seems, but oh, we might do that. Best Friends ribbon. Um, Lumio City Prism Tower. When your lead Pokemon is maxed affection in Pokemon of Me. Am I about to feed this Raikou? Raikou cares. It's my favorite, dude. What's your favorite Pokemon? Whatever your favorite Pokemon is, it sucks. Screw you. Okay, use the bank. Use this. I gotta put him back. <laughs> we have to go back. <laughs> uh, famous lost scene. Raikou's the waifu. Are you finally playing Pokemon, says Reen. I played Pokemon in the very beginning. You weren't here for it, okay? It's not my fault you were late. You were tardy, and you're blaming your tardiness on me. That's just not fair. All right. Take these. Let's put these over here. Uh, I don't think we're going to be getting ribbons on all of these, but just for the sake of it. Let's just do that for now, right? Yeah, okay, so we can put him back. Hey, Bright Sky. I'm not salty. Who's salty? Good taste, Elvia. My favorite Pokemon's been Altaria since I was like five playing Emerald. Art Altaria's awesome, dude. I like Altaria. I wish Altaria was better. Great design, though. I don't know how I feel about Mega Altaria or whatever with the weird hat. But I guess it's okay. I think I think that's one of the things about Pokemon that I don't like. I understand that not all Pokemon are created equally, right? But I wish there was a way to like bring them up to a better standard like there's some pokemon they, they make new pokemon that have no niche and don't fit any anywhere and are garbage or they're like little cup contenders or like really low stupid smoke on tears that nobody actually plays that don't really exist that is heartbreaking to me why would you make the new pokemon and then make it trash i guess they're going with design first but like <clears throat> Are there any Oraz ribbons you can give to Raikou? By transferring it to Oraz. Well, let's let's start with, with the ones that I can get from this first. This is going to get very convoluted, but I, I think we can earn them definitely some more from this game. Hello? Why'd you stop like that? I don't like that. I don't consent to this freezing. Stop. Go back. Cup these nuts. He just mad that Raikou is hot garbage. I don't even know. Is is Raikou not good? I'm sure he's not Uber, obviously. I guess he's probably not OU. He might have been OU during some eras. Please. Do I have to do that again? What is your deal? Oops, all your Pokemon have been deleted. I would be... I wouldn't rage quit, but I'd be a little upset about the Raikou, bare minimum. 
I know I've absolutely fawned over Raikou all stream. I'm, I'm tired of saying it even myself, but it's just the absolute truth. Sorry. It's the facts. Mega Altaria is the only fairy dragon Pokemon has made. See, yeah, Altaria should be fairy dragon. I like that. They should have updated base Altaria. I love, wait a minute. I love that the trial is question mark 60 days. Is that because they've gotten rid of the trial and it's just unlimited now, but it's like weirdly messed up? That's kind of concerning. Alolan Vulpix and Ninetales? Yes. Yes. Mega Absol should have been Dark Fairy. That's true. What is it? Is it just dark still? Okay. Don't do me like this. Come on. Oh, shoot. Now I don't have an empty box this time. Hold on. Come here, my pretties. Send the data to the server. Come on. Mega Absol should have been flying. There is no way that dark flying is a good comp type combination. There's just no way. Throw his wings but can't fly. What is he doing? <laughs> Dunspark says wings and it can't fly. Okay. Thank you. Because mistakes were made here. All right. So, it is ribbon collection time. Oops. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Unless I'm stupid, isn't Legends Arceus the easiest way to make really good Pokemon? Is that true? Is that true? Why would that be? All right. We need to s assemble a team here. This is going to be the lamest... <laughs> the lamest attempt at the Elite Four you have ever seen. Are you ready for this? I, I don't know why Joltik is in my inventory. I was doing something, clearly. Talonflame is to fly. I think I need that for now. Actually, let, let me, let's find where the Elite Four is first, shall we? And then we're going to do a team of, like, boring legendaries with Raikou or something. <laughs> Just to get the ribbons on them before they go up. Fly. Where is the Elite Four in this game? Let's see if I can find it without using a, a thingy. I don't remember any of these places. Collude? No, that's post game. Right? That one's a post game place. Snowbell. Is it? Oh, it's, is it this? Yeah, there we go. Found it! Thanks, Elvia. Anyway. I love me and Xiao. Uh, is this... That's gotta be the only Pokemon Center, right? They don't do the lobby inside anymore these days. Alright, are you ready for this horrific... Lee Bad type assortment that we're probably gonna have in here? Well, I have my electric type. That's for sure. Articuno is definitely joining for... Oh my god, Dragonite? Heck yeah, dude. This is gonna be sick, actually. I take it back. I take it back. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, am I going me and Shao? This is gonna be sick and stupid at the same time. I hope you're ready for this. I sincerely hope that you're ready for this. There's probably gonna be some of these I have to do off stream.
Gardevoir? Or, you know what? No, I'm bringing Jello Shot because it upsets some of you that it's shiny and it's green. Sorry. Umbreon? Uh, what, what types do I even have? You're here making a mess. <laughs> You're done. Oh, You're I'm definitely done. making a mess. Uh, this is definitely a mess. Dragon flying, bug steel, ice flying. I got an electric weakness a little bit there out of those two, right? Electric. So that's a ground weakness. I got that. Uh, this is decent. That's decent coverage there. Psychic. I feel like I need a fire type. We're going with this shiny Embor named Hamlet. Why not, dude? Why not? Let's roll, baby. I do not... I remember vaguely some of the characters. I don't remember what teams they have. I don't know what I'm stepping into. Let's make sure that I have potions and stuff. What do we got? Oh, they don't even have equip items. Is Raikou... Okay, look at... This, this is not... <sighs> We're not going to be playing in the pro championship here, okay? But if Raikou has moves that are missable. No, you don't. You don't. You don't want that. Never mind. I was going to say the wide lens could be good on Raikou if he's got like 95s or 90s that I don't want to miss. We're not going to be using pro tier strats here, okay? But we're going to be using some things. Good night, Elvia. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, the plates. Should I give him a plate? We're not playing with a full deck of cards here. We got, we got what we got, okay? A magnet would boost his moves. Never melt ice for Articuno. A dragon fang for Dragon Knight. These are not meta choices. I am fully aware these are not meta choices. Fop. <laughs> Bring in a Mega Pokemon like Mega Gardevoir. Uh, I booted Gardevoir, sorry. We in France, right? Okay, I've got a song for this. Ghost type, ground type. Absolite? Mmm. Maybe you're right. Maybe we do need to bring a Mega. You know what? I do miss Mega Pokemon. This is getting reconfigured. Why why are we spamming that? Don't don't make me have to put a further delay on that. Stop it. I'm warning you, Chip. I'm warning you right now. Okay. Occasionally, I put kind cooldowns on things. Until... People harass me with them. Alright. Swagonite's definitely in on this. I kind of want Genesect in here, too. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, fine. You're making a mess. I You're done. You are done! Absolute Gardevoir. I feel like co type coverage wise, we probably want Gardevoir. It's bold in terms of jerking people around, but I may have gone too far. In a few people places. meaning just Chip, yeah. <laughs> Send into darkness 300 days below the sun, fields of Verdun. Elvia made me do it. Somehow I doubt that. It's either Gardevoir or that Absol. Where was that Absol? Was that Absol even leveled? They're not. They're not leveled. I would love to bring an Absol, but... As you can see, don't have much of a choice. I think we're bringing Mega Gardevoir.
Elite Four is easy. Just solo with Shelder. I could probably solo with the Critster Shelder that I have. The Cloister. Do I, do I not have it? Do I not have it? Oh, there's the goddess icon. Is, is Gardevoirite something that I'm supposed to have and don't have? A Master Ball. Ooh. Do I mess with the choice items for this? Do I mess with actually competitive items? Also, let me let me look up Gardevoir, right? That's from this game, isn't it? Or no? Lumio City Cafe Soleil held by Diantha's traded Ralts. Have I not traded her for a Ralts? Gen 6, X and Y. The Ralts as Gardevoir. Right. Any Pokemon for Ralts. Let's let's go see if I need to do that then. It's from the Lumio City Cafe. Soleil. Why do I love finding the goddess like that? I don't know. Roy said that redeem sucked. I, I do think it should have like a little something more to it, but I, I can't think of what that would be yet at this moment. I just felt it was based on actual stream events and thus uh, forgot Gardevoirite at home. You know, and thus uh, it was fitting, I felt. Where, what, what bum Pokemon am I, am I giving this chick for this? Let's pick. I have thousands of clones in here. She can have a Froakie. You know what? Here's a like a decent IV Froakie. It's like literally are all the same. What's up, Dorolo? Hello. We're getting we're getting some ribbons before I transfer some Pokemon up. Unfortunately, that involves beating the Elite Four, which I'm not sure I'm capable of doing, but we're going to try. I thought it sucked because it was 300 and it didn't do anything. I mean, the other 300s don't necessarily do things. We got to play with Raikou and Pokemon and me as well. Okay, I don't know where this cafe is, but we're going to find it. I have to say, I did actually kind of like... Um, is there a map? Do I get a map anymore? I don't think I do. I did kind of like Lumio City. Is that a cafe? Is that it? Did I just luck upon it immediately? I mean, she's not in here. Good Irene. Is this is this Cafe Soleil? Wait, what is that thing outside? Has like 20 cafes? Okay. <laughs> You're probably right, but is this a sign? Triste. Triste? Wait, sad? Cafe sad? This is obviously not it. The roller skates are throwing me for a loop currently, but we'll figure it out. Is this another one? Is that a Pokemon Center? Yeah. What is this? Hotel. Rich hotel for people. Ultimo. The last cafe. Need the Route 4 gate. It'd be helpful if I knew where that was, but I don't. This is clearly not where I want to be. This is like that meme, but, but uh, Diggersby's on the couch this time. Ew. We're, I'm out of there. 
North Boulevard. So what route is this? Talk to the Heatran girl. Sixteen. Oh, what's up, Harry? Someone say they need more added to a stream effect in my fire emblem on? Cafe Tree Stay exclusive to depressed and alcoholic customers. Basically, so that can't be this one, right? Restaurant Le Nah. Yeah, Nah. Nah is right. Okay, is it this one? Damn it. I'm pretty sure Diantha's not an old woman, but that is the closest looking person. Yeah, it's not her. <laughs> I think she has brown hair. Use a taxi? I forgot that was even a thing. Wait, is that it? What is that? PR video studio, that's not it. How do I use a taxi? Haircut location. There it is. We made it, baby! I should give her absolute garbage, but I'll be nice. Okay. Now, I'm assuming with bank and home, we can't transfer items, right? Isn't that the stipulation with it? So there's no point in Gardevoir I remaining on it later. Give me that. Where was that Pokemon? Why aren't you moving? Move. You got the Gardevoir icon. I did, I did. A modest Ralts. I wonder if the, her gift is always modest. I'm going to be confused about this later. Okay. And with that... Yeah, no items. What's up, Master Buffalo? I didn't think so. So, let's fly again. This is either going to be the most epic thing you've ever seen or the most pathetic thing you've ever seen. Or both. I'm fine with that last result, I guess. <laughs> I'm going in blind. Should have went the other way. Gardevoir. Who's the other pick? Oh, Embor. You'll do fine.
Wait, I have... I have two of them? What? Huh? Huh? I'm sorry? What? I'm a bit confused about that, but okay. Uh, life orb. See, I don't. I wouldn't even know which of these to give to people. That's an EV item. Like I could give choice specs to Raikou. Maybe we should just do that. It's gonna be annoying though. I could always go in and volt switch out though. I guess with him. I'll have to go over who's getting transferred to home. I know, it's a, it's it's kind of a tough decision. I hate making my save files like bereft of actual Pokemon. Like, it just feels like you ruined it, you know? So I'm with you there. I, I don't know what just happened with that Megastone, but it's like, that looks like I'm hacking. Also, what was this? Does anybody remember this thing? There was so much speculation about this cool little souvenir thing of people assuming what it was. What even what even was it? That's not a Pokemon. That's not a Pokemon. You must have had one, I guess. I don't know how that makes sense, though. I guess I could have gotten it traded by someone, but then it was literally the last item in my list, too? I don't know, that's crazy. Tiki head from the Alola region? But it depicts a Pokemon that is venerated as a protector. What Pokemon is that? I know it's an Alola hint. I know it's an Alola hint, but like, I thought that was the whole premise was that that was supposed to turn into an actual Pokemon. Like that is a, in the Alola region, that should have been a Pokemon. That was one of the protected things, but it's like not. <laughs> it was a lie. The statue was a lie. Tapu Koka, he doesn't look like that. I know it is. Yeah, it's supposed to represent the Tapus, but like, which one? The bull one? I don't know. He doesn't really look like that. Hard to say. All right, where's a fire type thing? Also, bug type moves. These are, I'm giving them lame items, but whatever, they're gonna have items. Or I guess I don't have a charcoal. My charcoal must be on somebody. Hell yeah, now we're ready. Probably an old Tapu design. I know, but wouldn't you think like, okay, we can't change that one because we already put that in an actual game. I feel like you'd be locked in, right? I guess it's a silhouette, like statue, so you can like, like chalk some of it up to like artistic, uh, you know, license or something with it. But I still think a Pokemon should have generally looked like that. And it kind of doesn't to me, unless it's the face of the bull Tapu. I forget what his name is. Okay, items. Uh, I need healing items. Couple, yeah, you know what? This uh, maybe we probably need some more revives. Am I rich? My oh, I'm filthy rich. Yes. Just in case. I wish I knew. Oh, it tells you right there. All right. Let's go. This is it. We're actually have to go through a pool. That's kind of cool, actually. Bulu, yeah. That's the one I was thinking of. Firewater Steel Dragon. Good luck, gamer. Thank you. Yeah, check out this awesome French art. What's up, Norafi? 
I keep all my old Pokemon in my old games because I'm only going to use newer Pokemon in new games anyway. For the most part, yeah, I, I think I'm kind of with you, but I think there's some like shiny Pokemon and stuff that might be worth bringing up in my opinion. I just, I do hate making games bereft of uh, any Pokemon. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to go in here. Uh, this is the steel one. That's right, it's elevators. What if that is Mimikyu in its true form? Mimikyu's a protector in Alola, huh? Yeah. At night, the entrance pool reflects the night sky. That's a nice touch. Dude, this, this guy is like a... I barely remember this guy, like 1%, maybe. Wickstrom? That's... Okay, never mind. It's 0% now. Wickstrom? Who are you? Level 85, dude, you're done. You're done. It's everyone's favorite character, Wickstrom. Goodbye, dude. Ready to get sweeped, bro? I hope I'm not giving EVs to these Pokemon. Torment, okay. Is Steel weak to... No, I don't think it is. Do I do Wild Charge? I don't know. It's probably supposed to be a Life Orb uh, Embor, right? Its moves already hurt it. Act Embor? What makes you say that? I don't remember where I got this one. Ah, uh, no. Keep in. They're so forgettable after like Gen 5. I don't think I can use this again, can I? Yeah, I can. Aegislash is steel what? Does Sucker Punch make him flinch? I don't remember how this works. It's shiny, I'm skeptical. <laughs> I do have real... Oh. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, it's, it's Ghost, duh. Forgot. I am faster, right? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it was Steel. Obviously, all those Pokemon are Steel. I just forgot what its secondary typing was. And obviously, it's a Ghost. It's a floating sword. I just forgot. Goodbye, Hamlet. We'll, we'll fix you later. Okay, who's who's popping in here? Uh, your steel as well. Is it Raikou? Let's see what Raikou could do. Now this is an event Raikou. So don't you dare say packed. This is from GameStop, baby. OT GameStop. Caesar. 
interesting. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I wonder what hidden power it has, actually, though. What are the odds it's hidden power fire? <laughs> no. Looks a little hacked. Hidden power fire, hidden power fire. No. Maybe ice? I wonder what it was. Oh. My Ambrosif. Also, I forgot I gave him choice specs. That is not a good decision. Who who's who has a good move that? What do you even have? You have Blaze Kick. Got the piss yellow sacred stones palette. Raikou? Is that why I like it? I'm bug, I'm bug, I'm bug. It doesn't yes. Oh, we're level 100. What am I scared of? It's easy mode. Goodbye. I'm the better red bug. Bitch. <laughs> my name is Stevie Crit, and this is my action replay from 2009 that I got all my cheats on. You're nothing. You've no talent. I'm kicking you out of the Elite Four. Oops, sorry. Use? Get his ass. Stop it. This It's confusing me that the revive is still lit up. Oh, because... Oh, duh. Sorry. Thought I had two cursors at one moment. Okay. That's good enough for me. The right door. Blazing chamber. Blazing blade? 420 blazing blade it. Uh, fire is weak to water, rock, and probably something else that I'm not remembering currently. Maybe we just do a little volt switch action with Raikou. See what he's got in first. Ground? Oh, perfect. I was thinking it might be that, but I was like, there's no way it's rock and ground. Thank you. Who had ground? Dragonite? Swagonite, this might be your turn. Also. OT GameStop, baby! He's in a cherish ball. Because he's a badass. Uh, thank you to Lunar and other folks that reminded me about the ribbons, by the way. I totally would not have done that. And now, this Raikou will be the most decorated Raikou you've ever seen in your life. By the time he's on modern consoles. More like a hacked ball? I mean, to be fair, I'm sure there's a lot of hacked Pokemon with a cherish ball. You guys moving, but some of those shinies are perfect natured, Stevie. Come on, man. There's no way. Um, some of them are... Not like the Embor, obviously, because that's not one you pick up from an event. But like Raikou, picking up from the event thing. Um, I would have reset it until it had the right nature. But I don't remember, because I think some of them are from Black and White or something before this. And I transferred them from there to here at some point in time. But the Raikou is a real event Raikou. Pretty sure there was a big scandal over a Cherish Ball Aegislash. Yeah, I remember that. There was, um, 
Wasn't it one of the more famous people like Wolfie or somebody that was playing with one? Like to me, when it's like that obvious in a tournament, like an illegal Pokeball and a Pokemon that should not be there, um, I feel like they should force that person to ditch the Pokemon off their team. Swagonite. Why would you do that to me? Super training can tell you EVs. That is smart. Yeah, I forgot about that. But bare minimum, if I'm ruining their EVs, I can feed them something and do something to get rid of that, right? Uh, he is ground, isn't he? Is this not a good idea? Isn't he ground fire? Should I just outrage? I don't know. Stab? Stab bonus? In before the Genesex OT is machamps.com or something. Oh, it's pure fire? I thought for sure it was ground type. Whoops. Oh, well. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get locked into Earthquake. Well, actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Never mind. It's Outrage to get locked into, but... In this case, this is fine. Shiny? Hacked, yeah. I think you have camera up. Okay. Talonflame was one of the cool regional birds as well. I think sometimes they flub the regional bird. And it's not that cool looking. Guys, I'm sweating right now. I'm so scared. Help me, please. Actually, you are fire ghost. This should work on Ghost, right? Unless it has Levitate. Would it have Levitate? I don't know. It might, because it's a chandel uh, chandelier. I forget. Ooh. You actually hurt me. You can't do that. Stop hurting yourself. Oh, you're going down now. Unpheasant is underrated and overheated, the male one at least. Uh, yeah, I, I like male Unpheasant. In fact, I said I would delete female Unpheasant on my li my tier list earlier. Um, who am I sending in here? What's Ghost Week 2 again? I forget. Hit you ask the goat. I don't have any water moves. Oh, let's go. Let's volt switch with Raikou again. <laughs> That's the strat. Oh, ghost is weak to ghost. I forgot about that. This is uh, X Valence. Pokemon Sex Valence Sex P. Ghost and Dark, okay. Yeah, uh, my my typing memory is a little rough, apparently. Who had a ghost move? I've already forgotten. Was it you? No. Oh, Gardevoir. Gardevoir time. Thankfully, it's level 100. Enjoy this!
You didn't change your category, you fool. Uh, yeah, I should have, shouldn't I? Maybe I should do that. The black gown. There's literally four viewers for Pokemon X currently on Twitch. That is sad and crazy. Oh, what's the matter? You got burnt out? Carnivore is attending your funeral. <laughs> Shiny Mega is sick. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, I think that's why I wanted that at one point in time, because it's cool that it has a black gown. Fix Swagonite. Swagonite had a little, uh. Swagonite got a little swagged out by accident. You know what? I'm a generous man. Let's fix you all up. Dragon Mark Chamber. Okay. Like another job for Swagonite. Or actually we could send out Articuno. This is this is actually Articuno's realm. Are you set on blue lions next or open to other fire emblems? Uh definitely doing going back to the Blue Lions Maddening run that we never finished. Um at some point in time, I may on a rotating Wednesday schedule do genealogy with Choops. Um, he expressed that he would join me if I did it again. And I think having a co-host on that would be kind of interesting, so. But I, I that requires pre-planning, so I don't know when and, you know, which weeks it's going to be. No, I did. Don't lie. I'm pretty sure I have the DMs to prove that. Do I have the DMs to prove this? You don't even care. It's like so obvious you don't even care. Hold on. That's not it. Maybe you said it on a stream. We had a conversation at one point in time. Don't gaslight my audience. Fuck you. I believe you, Stevie. He will do anything for Fire Emblem 4 exposure. Thank you. What's wrong with Berwick? Everything? Are you asking me why I wouldn't do Berwick? Oh no, because Roy said we wouldn't we don't want troops there anyways, it's a filthy Berwick and Gerard. Okay. I believe troops, okay. Okay. Wait, drag algae. Is a poison dragon? How dare you? How would you like a nice ice beam? Chaz made me play Bearwick and I still haven't mentally recovered. Really? I know it's different, but you're saying it's that painful? Chaz gave me Bearwick. As a birthday gift. Oh, why did I why do I click that? Stop doing that. 
Would you like an ice beam? I'm like Oprah today. That's too hard for him. Who named this Articuno? I named this Articuno. This this was the Articuno legendary you catch in the post game. Altaria. No, why why is the switch button on top? Stop it. Yawn. 360 just released their online store will close on July 29 this year. Interesting, Wildcat. I guess it's about time. Like, if you're actually still doing Xbox 360 stuff, well... 360 was probably before the 3DS, right? I'd have to look up the dates. Sorry, I keep clicking Switch. I don't know why Switch is the default option. Dreadagon's Pure Dragon, I think. That kind of makes sense that they would end it now. Free money! Articuno Sweep. What? Why does she get extra flavor dialogue? I'm out of here. Guys, I'm really scared. You think we could do this? It's like this game needs a hard mode or something. I say as I have two level 100 Pokemon in my party. I didn't pick them for the levels though, alright? You know that. You saw that. Uh, oh, that cured the poison, right? It's full restore. Dragalgy is the first poison dragon and a Y exclusive, says Lunar. Um I used Dragalgy in this run. I must have gotten Wonder Trade as Wonder Traded a Screlp then, or I traded somebody. That's interesting. I forgot about that. Blood Chamber. Raikou. It's your time, bruh. The hacked brigade will lead you to victory. Shut up. They are not. Or if they are, it isn't my fault. I have documented history for some of these Pokemon. Would you say Pokemon is your comfort game? Uh, probably not, to be honest. I haven't played a lot of Pokemon in like a very long time. I played Sword a year and a half ago after buying it for cheap from Facebook Marketplace from some kid. But that was my like only recent modern Pokemon experience, I'd say. I like that thing, Quancher, whatever it is. Hey, buddy. T Bolt. Is Raikou not the coolest Pokemon you've ever seen? This room has such an unnecessary design. Don't you love the water effects? The waterfalls? It's sick. <laughs> Attention. No cap on God. <laughs> for real. For real. You've seen Sigbert. Get ready for Sigbold. Dude, Raikou, Raikou got a level up off this ish. Choop says, I believe that Pokemon are evil. <laughs> Uh, I do too. 
Well, I think I think Pokemon are demonic and it should be banned from our schools and kept away from our children. Uh, so yeah. Barbaracles are freaky Pokemon. Goodbye, Barnacle Head. Have you seen Shiny Metagross? That puts Raikou to shame. Metagross is kind of weird, though. Metagross is like a weird alien rock. Raikou is just cool. I believe that Kingdom Hearts is light. Giratina's better? That's no fair. Giratina gets like a bunch of forms. Wow, that, that was fast. Was that six Pokemon? There's no way that was six Pokemon. What a loser. I believe that there's too many bad fire players. Like the fifth or sixth time you've mentioned Facebook market this stream. It's only because of that story, sorry. And it's because some people aren't there to hear the story the first five times you say it. I don't need to heal you? Interesting. Oh, that's right. They didn't land a single hit. The Kalos Elite Rooms are good extra compared to Alola Elite Rooms. I've never been to those rooms, so I couldn't say. Why are you still standing here? I already beat you. This is not in your room anymore. This is my room now. I'm the captain now. Then he's four each? Oh, no wonder why. Why would they do that? Out of all the Pokemon, they could have picked four? I also don't recall her having a Halucha. That's interesting. I wish I knew what this hidden power was. How dare you. Oh, are you trying to set up a sweep? Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> okay. Oh, because it's flying. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I was just assuming it was pure fighting type. Dollar Tree Cynthia. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, who should, who should, let's get Dragonite out here. The level 100s make it a little too easy. Good night, Bright Sky. Wow, it is late. Aurorus, you are ice typed. That is not good for me. You're not an ice dragon, though, are you? Fire punch? No. Outrage. You big mad now. Thank you. You steal. It's a little late for that. Ice Rock. That sounds familiar. Thank you, Master Buffalo. Yeah. Okay. I forgot. That actually hurt. French Cynthia, her team is weaker, so it's easier to surrender. <laughs> I think we duke it out. I think we duke it out here. Dragon on dragon action. Let's go. Yeah, baby! Goodbye.
Gorgeist? Yeah. Shiny Dragonite doesn't look too bad in this game, actually. Why do people? Why are people hating on Shiny Dragonite? Shiny Dragonite's awesome. What's with this green shiny hate? Someone was was uh, denigrating it earlier. I think Gorgai's definitely Grass Ghost, right? Probably. It's Pumpkin. Uh oh. No! I thought maybe that would do that thing like dig, but it, do it doesn't work like dig. <laughs> if you earthquake when they dig and it kills them. Dang it. You know what? Let's get, let's get Mega Gardevoir back out here. I did skate past that username. Yeah, I was going to say, what's up, dick? But that didn't seem right to me, so... Look at you trying to full restore. That's the first. She wasn't able to do it any other time because I like one shot like all of them. Everyone's Pokemon so far. Not everyone, but most of them. It's not the worst green one. I do prefer normal Dragonite. Really? They hate the shiny Dragonite because it doesn't stay pink like the previous Evos. It is one of those ones that changes, yeah. You called someone fat earlier? His name was Fat. His username was literally Fat. Just Fat. F-A-T, Fat. Wait a... My dress is black. It's hotter. I'm goth. And you're dead. I've never achieved something harder in my life. Shiny Dragonite looks like the stuff my cat pukes up. No! It does not. Don't lie to me. Can I skip this? I can't skip this. You versus the girl he tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Gardevoir versus the cooler Gardevoir. Who wore it better? Yeah, exactly. Is it gold? Or is it blue? I'm glad they still do this. Actually, I don't know if they still do this anymore, but Stevie, you are like such this. an epic gamer. Thank you, Jonathan. I'm sure the fact that I had a couple level 100s on my team definitely didn't help very much and contribute overtly to this victory. But you know what? This is a time for celebration. Premier balls are so sick. Some of my premier balls and luxury balls are my favorite Pokeballs. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese Genesect name. <laughs> no nickname for Gardevoir. Could have won with like level 50s. This Elite Four is incredibly easy. It does seem that way. I'm shocked they don't have six Pokemon. That's just crazy. I always catch a Shinx in a Premier Ball because that's my favorite. Dude. I agree with your taste. I would definitely do that too. Or a Luxury. Luxury would also work for Luxray too. But uh, yeah, you really can't go wrong with Premier Ball, I feel. Can I skip this? No. Why is the background like a wet piece of paper with bacteria growing on it? Is this what you think of this franchise, Junichi Masuda? 
Is this all this means to you? Oh, I can. Oh, I fast forwarded it. Yes. It took that long for a Pokeball drawing to appear. I like nicknaming Shiny Gardevoir Noir after the Shiny Mega. Yeah, that would work. But I think this Gardevoir was transferred from uh, black and white. I don't think I could change it anymore. And I don't know if I made this or if I traded some. I don't I have no idea. I can't remember. But I do remember there was a lot of Pokemon I, I moved up. I'm pretty sure I, I could be wrong, but I think the Raikou, the GameStop Raikou, was also a black and white giveaway that I moved up to this game. I don't think it was an X and Y giveaway. Come on, bro. I can't skip this. <sighs> yes, yes, you're all great. Thank you for working on this game. But I'm playing this like 15 years later and I need the credits to be over. Thank you. Okay. 11 years later, sorry. I exaggerated. This was one of like the first, maybe it wasn't the first time, but it was one of the early times where the post game was pretty lacking in a Pokemon game before it became an actual trend. Game is old. Yeah, it is. It is. Stevie, you are such an epic gamer. Thank you. Thank you, Mercy. We have live in a nice house. Holy shit. Since when? I thought we were poor without dad. There's my absentee mother again. Oh yeah, one of my six friends. It was so funny in this game, they gave you like six random friend characters that were just, they didn't all need to be there, but instead of like one rival, there's like six and they're all just nice friend people. It was very boring. All right. Wait, let's not do that. I didn't mean to do that. Nice house with no bathroom. Oh, that's, that's why we're poor. I see. That's what shows you that we're poor. There we go. Kalos champion ribbon. Uh, what, what's, what's next on my ribbon list? We should probably end the stream soon. It's getting really late, but what is next on the ribbon list? Oh, we got to play with him in Pokemon Ami. Back to the NPC in Lumio City Prism Tower with, when your lead Pokemon is maxed affection in Pokemon Ami. Do the minigames enough so your Pokemon reaches five attention hearts. Pet the spot that gives three hearts until it no longer gives hearts. Eat it with any type of food until it will eat no more. Play three rounds of tile puzzle easy mode to refresh your ability to pet and eat. Repeat. Okay. You know what that means, don't you? First off, let's fly to Lumi. Actually, I can't fly. Where, where's the nearest Pokemon Center? I'm trapped. I'm trapped like a rat. Is this the gate? This is the gate. This is like a fever dream. Like I kind of remember some of this, but I barely remember this. I remember, I think we had a big lunch with all the six randos south of this place. What? Your mom killed your dad with the Rhyhorn for the life insurance. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Oh, it's right there. I think. Weird Pokemon Center. Or are you not? Hello? This is the Pokemon Center? Right, there's no bike in this game, is there? 
I went to press select for the bike. Guys, I'm scared of the tall grass. Do I really have to? Did you really screw? Oh, I probably could have used. No, I can't use the box in my house. Why did it screw me like this? Look at poor Riker being tossed around. <laughs> Just doing somersaults. In Twitch chat, see our chat too, or are we in a digital one-way mirror? Uh, Restream bot sends it back and forth, I think. Do a spinny? I'll try, but oh no! You're mad because I deleted your dad earlier on stream. You don't want none of this, boy. Do a spinny. I don't know how to do a spinny. Is that a spinny? Is that a spinny? <laughs> Is that it? That seems a little anticlimactic. Okay, uh, why, why? I'm not doing it right? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. How do I get out of here? Stop it. I might need to use a repel. Repel. That clearly was not the way. Let's make this easier for myself. There's no repels? It wouldn't be in here, I don't think, right? None of these do that either, right? I have no repels. What are you even doing here right now? I need to get to a Pokemon Center. I can't fly right now. That must be an old thingy in there. Rotten piece of candy in my Pokemon Ami menu. Oh my god. See, so he doesn't like the elemental monkeys. I like the base forms. I just think that adult ones are not that great. Specifically, green monkey with big mohawk. Leaf Mohawk. It's way less cool in execution than it sounds. Go through the forest the next town, you're a fool. That's what I'm trying to do. What do you think I'm doing? There's no helpful map on my bottom screen. It's just one path? Huh? What? Yeah, I, I recognized the fact that I was pretty sure it's based on Viridian, but I honestly can't remember Viridian off the top of my head. This way? But it ends here. Yeah, I guess I don't remember Viridian. It must be down from here, right? I kind of remember it goes around, but that's about all I remember. The way that isn't a dead end, thanks. Cheers, mate. I owe you one. Would have been better a single stage? I kind of agree, yeah. I think there's a lot of Pokemon that have a needless evolution that makes them worse looking. 
I guess there's an argument to be made about like Eviolite, giving them that item to make them better at a at a base stage or whatever, but How did you even get your clothes on this morning? Uh, my clothes were not a winded path through a dark forest with Pokemon spawns every five seconds. Still expecting a random shiny to pop up? I, I haven't even been thinking about it, so that's usually like when that would happen, yeah. That would be funny. Oh my god, is this the end? Freedom! Why, why did the game do this to me? This sucks. I didn't have a Pokemon with Fly with me. Yes, freedom. Finally. The towns in this game are kind of pretty, I'll say. Definitely have more life to them than uh, the Galar region, Sword and Shield. And they still have houses you can go into. Event Pokemon Girl can get it. All right, Lumio City, I think it's at the central plaza thingy. Yeah, that's a, that's a sick cafe. It's like hidden and it's all red, blood red and dark. Hold on, this is my kind of joint. Hidden on a weird side street and nobody's in here, dude, sick. There's probably killing people in the back room. Oh, it's the Lysander one, okay. I guess I'm a Team Flare member, whoops. No bonk for people sipping over Bank Girl. I don't know. I'm just not on point with the bonks all the time. Where's the circle? There it is. I think I think you've watched too many streams with me, Roy. I think you're. I'm. Even my common sentiments are upsetting you. Okay. Maybe it wasn't quite blood red. Okay, but. It was pretty red. It's a very bright, like, crimsony red. You know what time it is! I got your foot. I got your foot! Why are you on the bottom screen? Why would the game do that to me? Who's hungry? <laughs> Do you want it or not? Who's hungry? This one has a green swirl. Who's hungry? <laughs> Who's bulking right now? Shove it down. What's the matter? Are you getting full? <laughs> Eat it! Eat it! I gotta find the place that gives... Is, is three the max or, or, or five? Okay, that's good. Well, that was good. Where, where do you really like to be scratched? That's not as good. What's your head bumps? Nope. Right here. No? Your tail. Okay, that you don't like. I think I may have to play a puzzle game with you now. Huh? 
tile puzzle time. It's on the bottom screen so you can pet it, you fool. I guess, but everything in Pokemon wants to use the bottom screen, which is smaller. Oh no, can you just click and drag this? Oh, you can. Got him. Just realized the streamline out of spades again. Yeah, it's because I didn't I didn't switch it. I customized the fates layout for the one view. I didn't think we would need to switch to the smaller screen today. Did this tell me you have to play multiple times? Hold on, let me read this thing again. Play three rounds of tile puzzle easy mode to fully refresh your ability to pet eat. Alright, we're playing again. The only petting Nintendo of America approves of. <laughs> Sounds like a duck. Dude, high score. These look super boring. <laughs> I don't think I've ever played the Pokemon XY minigame. This isn't fun to you, bro. I'm having a freaking blast, dude. All right, that's the three. Who's hungry? The Poke Puffs always look so good, it's always the cartoon. <laughs> Some of these look like macaroons. I don't think those taste good in real life, at least to me personally. I feel like an abusive parent right now. Eat. Finish your supper. Eat. I need to collect your hearts. I got three hearts from here before. Does it still work that way? That's three. How about on your nose? I got your nose. How about on your fang? <laughs> you don't seem to like that. No mini game will be better than the beauty contest, though. The beauty contest? Are you talking about the contest in uh, Gen 3 or something else that I'm not thinking of? Is that it? Are you. Hey. Be nice. I don't like Raikou's tail in 3D. <laughs> Uh, can I? I can check on his hearts, right? Let, let me back out for a second. The Gen 3 contests were the best. Oh, I found furniture. Okay, he's got to get to five hearts of affection, I believe. You know what that means, right? Puzzle time. Look at he's singing. He's so happy. Let's play puzzles together.
Good night, Dick. Thanks for tuning in. That's uh, that sounds rude, but it's accurate because of your name. <laughs> so this is where Face got the idea for Face Petting. I love watching a grown man play with his zap dog. W Riz. You know, just Sparky and I out on the frontier solving the hard puzzles. The one no one else did, the ones no one else dared to solve. I think Raikou likes its forehead being pet the most. How do you know that, Mary Sue? Wait, did that not give me five stars? That's rancid. Why would you do that? I deserved five stars for that. That performance. <laughs> All right. Ah! Four and a half. Come on, Stevie. You've played Lunatic. You can handle hard mode. <laughs> I could, but... All right, I'll try it next time. After he eats and gets petted again. It's just that this is faster. Yeah, that was record setting. Come on. I, it's fun that it shows your party doing stuff in the background of the of the picture thing. Mary Sue, correct? That's three. I don't know if that goes up to five or not. How about your little ear thingies? I don't know what those are. But I like them. Three? Okay. How about your eyeball? What you got for me? Nothing? Your little circly thingy? That's three. I'm not finding anything more than three here. Eat up! Sound changes a bit depending on where you put the cursor. You guys are going to get real sick of that cry <laughs> if you're not already. Who wants more chocolate cake? This is like that scene in Matilda where she forces the fat kid to eat the most delicious looking chocolate cake you've ever seen in your life in front of the entire school until he, like, basically vomits. That's what I'm doing right now. He's bored of it again. Alright, hard mode. Unlimited? Oh, that is. Let's try hard. Come on. Blues uh, top right. Or the other corner.
I'm going too slow. You're making a mess. You're done. You are done. <laughs> one star on that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was off about by like 45 seconds, but okay. Uh, let's see if I can fully feed him again. I don't know if I can. Maybe if the hard one is harder, we can do less of it. Good night, Valence. Why are you booing me? You didn't like that performance? I should have just spammed the cursor all across the screen, to be honest. I was actually trying to look. You like you like the green ones. That's good. You know, I have to say, I kind of like all this uh, 3DS, what's the word, focus that I've been doing in the past little while. Like, it's kind of fun to jump back to this. Like, I could see myself, what's tomorrow, Thursday? I can't do it tomorrow on lunch break, but like, I could see myself on lunch breaks or something, like doing a little bit of this to like get things ready to transfer up. I guess that's a good thing. It's a bit tedious, but... Boy, are you picky. Let's see if, uh, where his hearts are at. Deadly poison object. Well, maybe we shouldn't be touching that and finding that. Mysterious cactus. Not quite there. I'm guessing he explodes a thousand hearts when it's finally done. Hello. Yeah, we gotta play a puzzle game again. Let's do, um, the easy one. Really swiftly. The hard one, this is nothing. Stop it. Click. <laughs> but chocolate will, sorry, I missed that. But chocolate will kill him. <laughs> Very fast. 
One more. Sometimes I think I don't click hard enough. Gotta get nine seconds someday. Was that two? I think I'll play one more. You know, you can tap one tile, then another to switch them. I'm trying. Sometimes it doesn't register every tap. That's it for that one. Who's hungry again? Eat up. This is going to be one fat Raikou by the time I'm done with him. That's a really special one. mouth is opened. It's probably good, right? Is that the spot? It's only three. Might just only be three. Nutrition. <laughs> Higher quality puffs give more hearts. Sorry, I should have been feeding you the premium cat food. That's my bad. You're already done? You didn't give me more hearts yet. You didn't explode with hearts. That's not what I wanted. You're so picky. Oh, I think, yeah, what it is is when you click them wrong and you click like one that's already moved, it like makes that bad sound and kind of stilts everything that you're doing because it can't move, obviously. I think that's what gets confusing about it when you go fast. Because you're clicking inputs and they're not doing anything because they can't move anymore. Oh, I could have had nine seconds on that one. Damn it. No, I fumbled it. I fumbled it. Yeah. Oh, well. I think that's three already. Let's back out. Who's hungry again? <laughs> For your 50th meal of the day. It's time. 
All I've got are is peasant food for you. He demands fancy feet. Okay. I'm gonna assume he's not done yet still. So that's probably four out of five hearts. You're so needy. Just love me. I'm shoving food down your throat constantly. Good thing the Pokemon can't get fat in this game, yeah. Can you imagine? Would you or would you not make Pikachu fat again? Oh, wait, I didn't pet him. I feel like when the mouth opens, it's like a clear... That's the spot sign, but he doesn't give me more than three. I don't know if that means it's the one or not. Why is this Pokemon so cool? Why can't you be real and shock my enemies? Let's just check if he's at four. I think there was a Pokemon episode involving an island of obese Pidgeys that couldn't fly anymore. Interesting. Let's go, bro. Let's go. You can't stop me. Got it. Yes. Nine seconds. Stevie, you are such an epic gamer. <laughs> Thanks, Mercy. I'm sure an actually skilled person could probably get like five seconds. It's funny because it shows you exactly what it's moving and switching it with, but there's no way you would remember it all. All right, that's three. And hopefully this will lead us to the fifth heart. Who's ready to eat again? Did I get anything cool? Uh, just bum food. Try to do the hard modes to get the good, actually good ones. a cute background. I feel like this background might be better than the ones from some of the newer ones. Like what I went to into um, I don't know if it was Oraz.
Come on. Am I going to have to play a puzzle three more times? Don't do me like that. It's over. It's over. It just loves playing puzzle. Just loves playing puzzle in easy mode. way off uh, you're confusing the game what what's wrong with this picture oh oh definitely a world record there i'm blazing fast doing no I'm floundering love me dog love me puzzle what <laughs> what I think that's three. Guess who's hungry again? Hopefully for the last time. I'll earn you another ribbon. It's kind of sad that stuff like this, like, it's meant to be like an actual bonding thing, but... It's been corrupted to the point where we're just simply spamming this just to do it for the for the little PNG icon that'll be on the Pokemon forever from this point on. Like any any actual love and affection and appreciation for the Pokemon is long gone. I think that's it, right? When I go to sleep, I'm gonna keep hearing Raikus cry. <laughs> Sorry. You would think they would like put different effects on it for like different pitches and uh, like amplify it or like you know for some variety it's really quite unfortunate they play the same song the sound effect over and over i think it's done right i was just expecting a, a larger heart explosion what you're not maxed? Huh? What have I done? Come on. Eat. Eat. I don't want to play with you no more. <laughs> Come on. Why you got to do me like that? I don't I don't know what that gave me cuz we were already on four hearts and then he just heart explosioned at me. And it was nothing.
One more round of puzzles, yeah. I'm something of a puzzle fanatic myself. One more. Shoot. Oh, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Do it. Click it. There it goes. I think I'm getting worse at this. <laughs> That's a great time right there. Nice. Is that two or three? Uh, did I say one more? I've forgotten, so I'm going to do one more just in case. I've made you nice and fat. Don't you love me now? too close to the sun. No. No. Why is this taking so much longer than I thought it would? You're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry. No. <laughs> no, you can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. Please be the last one. The idea of doing this for an entire team of Pokemon is exhausting. Oh, that could have been a really good one. Oh, I got nine again. Damn it. I could have done even better than that. 
wonder if doing the other games would be faster get better rewards the guide itself told me to do the easy one three times in a row i think it's just assuming speed oh it is three hearts yeah pet the spot that gives three hearts yeah we're doing everything right it's just tedious 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 Like busy work. Because it's a mini game for actually caring for your pet throughout the game, as opposed to spamming it for five hearts in a row. Come on, bro. We've made it. Let's go. Five hearts, five hearts. You ain't full yet. Come on. Come on. No, don't do this. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Come on. Are we good? Five, 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 please, five. Yes. Yes, he's not having very much. He's not enjoying the puzzle anymore very much. <laughs> okay, I think it implied the person was in here. But this is a gym. But I could be wrong. I forgot this was the gym. NBC in Lumio City Prism Tower. Is is this Prism Tower? Yeah, this is Prism Tower. Is it you? Yeah. Hey yo! It's your lucky day. Okay, well, um, what's up, what's up, Saucy? Are you just waking up now? That's, that's a couple nice ribbons there, a couple nice ones. What, what else is there to do in this? If I really want to do, oh, training ribbon? Chad Strats. Thanks, Mary Sue. Okay, so I'd have to do super training, even though the IVs are, are or EVs are probably maxed. Uh, 30 medals in total. Talk to the NPC when your lead Pokemon is a medal for every course. 30 medals in total. Which you get for clearing a stage within a specified time. Set attack type. Oh, God. And battle my son. May son ribbons. Uh, the 20 win streak you already had, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the 50 one, though. I don't know that I would do that with all of these. My goodness. My goodness. But anyway, uh, okay. That's, um... That's fun. I think with that, though, considering it's 3.30 in the morning, we should probably wrap up there. <laughs> That definitely went on for way longer than I thought we were going to. Uh, how, sh how should we end this? Not with a green blank screen, that's for sure. How about that? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I will see you again probably next Monday, coming back for some brand new return to Fire Emblem Three Houses Blue Lions Maddening, considering that run from over a year ago, probably a year and a half at this point, or maybe even more than that honestly. But thank you guys so much. Um, I'll probably do more of this in my free time and transfer some uh, some Pokemon up. Because this is really tedious, but I'll probably do a little bit more. Maybe for the Pokemon I really care about we'll get them some ribbons and stuff. And Maybe for Raikou I'll go a little bit of an extra mile for him. But thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you Lunar Cryogen. 
or Lunar Cryos as you are now. Mary Sue, Saucy, Mercenary BDU, Zero Goki, Deep Freeze, Wildcat, uh, Quattro. Thank you for tuning in today. Roy the Boy was here. Troops was here earlier. Uh, saw Veronica for a little bit. Emro was here today. Master Buffalo. You're making a mess. Kevin. You're done. You are done. I am definitely done now. Thank you 